And we are. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna wait till the blunt is passed. <laughs> you guys gonna start here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna just wait so that she can hear what we're saying. 11:35 p.m. September. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> the six feet logo. Yeah, the six feet logo. Ding ding. Like fucking. <laughs> and we are. Oh, all right. <laughs> we are, and we are live back again with another podcast. This is Six Feet Going Deep. I am your host, Nick Torius. This is episode 40. Hold on, let me check. Okay. Oh, yes. 46. And we're here with my co host. What's going on? It's your boy, man. Uh, Gio, who turned up in this bitch. Y'all already know we call me Gianni. Um, we got another episode today <laughs> weekly every single wednesday we're shooting we're trying to get on point make sure everything's right take over the content game in 2024 everything so this, except the sounds oh the sounds are all right yeah, there we go there we go we got the sounds back and today we are here with our lovely guest please introduce yourself <laughs> she went ready <laughs> yo ashley what's your rap name what's your rap name ashley all night <laughs> it's like how'd you know that <laughs> nah that's so funny yo on words for Ashley all day. Whatever happened to her? Shout out to her. I watched the interview. Y'all trap bitch shit, okay? I watched an interview with her the other day on No Jumper. Nah. Like, was this? nah. Shout out to real bitch's name Ashley, okay? Hey, yo. <laughs> we got the sounds. So if you wanna, <laughs> yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna experiment with the sounds, all these shits got certain things. So like, if you hear one of us saying something that sounds like a lie. Stop the cap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> or if someone says something stupid. Stupid. Yeah. You feel me? Let us shit like that. Those are your two main buttons. And then whenever yeah. we celebrate some shit, you know what I'm saying? You hit the Don DeMarco. Right? And those are the only ones that we use. Except when it comes to anything Gio says. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Except when it comes to anything Nick says. <laughs> that's, that's, we should change that to the pause. <laughs> we should change that to the pause one. <laughs> Should have pressed that one when I said special game. <laughs> All right, enough. All right, so Ashley, introduce yourself. Hey, okay. You gonna you, cut this shit out, right? No, I don't know. I don't cut shit out. It's uh, raw. It's all raw. Like the papers. Don't worry. It's <laughs> not like the papers. Don't worry. <laughs> what happened to my mic? Can you hear we can hear you. Okay. Um, can you hear yourself? So no, it's because she's not like talking. Oh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta you talk, talk right into the mic. Yeah, like you gotta, a, like, kiss it. Almost kiss it. Yeah, right there. That's perfect. I still don't hear myself talk. Ooh, 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 okay, there I am. You can hear so? <coughs> it's like you hear coming me? in and out. Okay, it's, it's in, it's in. Right, she back. Dad, that's, what she, that's what she said. <laughs> is it, is it, is it? <laughs> you, dirty as fuck. Nah, but she said that's so sexual too, you heard? Like, she, like she wasn't even saying that shit like on some like... <laughs> I or, said that casual, bro. Hell and nah. I'm so sorry, you, she, she, she knew what she was doing, right? I don't hear myself. Okay, now I hear myself. How about now? Oh, this is my phone. Can you hear it? Is ready. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Not right now. No. <clears throat> That's good. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. <clears throat> I can. Yeah. Right there. Right there. That's good. It's good. I can hear myself. Okay. Right. Bet. <laughs> All right. Did you introduce yourself? Can we go on the topics? So, my name is Ashley. <laughs> I wax eyebrows and coochies at Wax Life with two E's. Hit me up. There we go. Yeah, I was looking for yeah, the other one to clap in, but that's what's up. That's what's up. Working right. people all wait, wait. plugging out there. Like I wanted to um, ask when you guys smoke, it doesn't. You don't feel like super incredibly sad, like, mm -mm. like life. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I couldn't hear you. If oh, like it's not, it's still not working. You can't you hear. Try to twist the. I can't hear you. I can hear myself now, but it comes in and out. Try twisting um the actual the little part right here the ox. Try twisting it just a little bit. It's on the other side. Oh, now mine's fucked up. <coughs> Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. This is the reality. Your <laughs> podcast sometimes. Now I get this shit back on the road though. Hey. Is better. You hear? It? Yeah. <coughs> All right. Perfect. We are back. Right. Yeah. Everybody's it's, it's, back. It's crazy. I didn't. Oh, oh, that's why. Because I took out yours. Not yeah, mine. Yeah, you unplug mine. I was yeah. like, why can I still hear <laughs> everything? <laughs> But everyone's good, right? La la la. Yes, sir. You yes, should sir. be, yes, yeah. Sir. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. All right, You're bet. good. All right, bet. Well, right. Put, yeah, Let's do yeah. this shit. Do we got to do that shit again? Hell no. Hell no. No, no, what? no hey, we shit. are live. <laughs> yeah, we are with live. another podcast. <laughs> this is episode 46. <laughs> I'm your host, Nick Torres. 
Oh, shit. And it is your boy, Gio, man. But y'all can call me Gianni. Thank you for tuning in for another episode. Today, we have a lovely guest. I'm right, let's get into the topic. To introduce herself. When you smoke... <laughs> <laughs> let's get into it. She's like, damn, nigga, what about me? <laughs> Please introduce yourself again, just in case we don't leave the intro in because we fucked up and we had technical difficulties. I like, I like the fuck-ups, though, because it makes it more fun. <laughs> Except when people are watching, they're like, I'm going to click off. These guys don't know what they're doing. <laughs> That's why you clip it. So they don't oh, see that shit. part. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so tell people where they, could, um, where they could find you at and stuff like that and what you do, if you may. So my name is Ashley. Um, <laughs> I hear that shit coming up. She sounds like she's being interviewed, right? Eh? Huh? <laughs> you sound like you're on the six, six feet going deep as Victoria Smith. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interview right now. No, we, we all vibe with you. Feel me? Okay, Show you on the smoke game. I don't know, bro. I feel like this shit keeps going in and out. Still? Yeah, like right now. Is that how you but talk? Try testing it, like with oh, yeah, the, where you that, speak. That, yeah, this shit. Right? Uh, yeah, that's better. All right, bet, bet, bet. Yeah, if you, if you feel yeah, like going in and out, just twist it a little. She bit. said that it was better, like five times. We believe. No, nah, I think it was. I think it was the actual aux yeah, cable. Yeah, 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 the aux. Yeah. That's all I had to do. Okay, so. Yeah, my name's Ashley. All right, we know what you do. Let's get into yeah, the topic. Okay, yeah, for real. I don't want to do that shit again. Like, you gonna crop that shit out, right? Yeah. Everything, yeah. We're gonna make, make it look nice no, and pretty. No, but, like, when you guys smoke, what is that initial feeling of, like, like when you first hit the blunt and it's, like, you don't feel oh, like okay. things... Like, wait, wait. You don't feel like things are, like, too real? Like, wow, this is so no, real. It's, like, when you start working out, right? Right? You start working out and then your heart starts beating super fast, you know? And then you start sweating and, like, you just kind of feel awake. That's kind of how... I feel. I'm speaking for myself. I don't yeah. know what you gonna say, but that's how I be feeling to me. Like I be like, you know. No. I feel like it. I feel <laughs> like weed. It's so crazy to me. Like I feel like all my life I've had this like bubble, right? Where it's like life is so beautiful and like fun and safe. And like when I smoke weed, it's like it takes it down. <laughs> yeah, and I'm in like, in like, in I'm like vulnerable. Like, <laughs> oh no! I'm in like, I'm in like a great. Yeah, I'm in like a grave. Like oh my god, this, the world is so real. You know. Oh yeah. yeah, that used to happen to me a lot when I first started smoking. Um, I really? think I started smoking when I was like 13, 14 years old. And um, like I would get high as fuck and start tripping out and stuff. Um, <laughs> and there was this quote by Bob Marley that I heard and it was like, the herb reveals you to yourself and like it really helped me, um, you know, get to know like my shadow side and like not run away from it. What's your and shadow side? I don't know, like... <laughs> <laughs> my shadow side crazy, like, yeah. all this shit that nah, I'm like, scared of I heard of that before I think yeah like a shadow side is like <clears throat> the, that the parts of yourself of your, that you yeah. don't want to show to other yeah. people or that you don't want to embrace in yourself like yes. whether it be whatever it could be any any part of yourself that you don't want to acknowledge because you're like oh I don't even want you're that to be a part of me you're scared to share right, it's actually, like yeah. What's your <laughs> the person of the the personality you keep in the shadow pretty much? What, what right, like yeah. the ego? Yeah, yeah. What what what's like your shadow? Because I I don't like I'm curious what a woman's like shadow side is. Well, I ain't like the rest of these bitches, so <laughs> I don't know. Like yeah, how? But like for me, I don't know. I always knew who I was since I was a little girl. Like, I don't know. You know, I guess as a woman, specific, like especially like. I don't know, like, I look a certain way, you know, there's, like, westernized beauty standards, like, you know what I mean? Like, I never, I just feel like, um, as a woman, I just feel like it's better to be your authentic self. Like, that's all you could ever be, you know? So you be, like, hating on bitches? <laughs> Hell no, look like hating on them, I know hating as well. <laughs> I don't know, I don't see a point of, like, hating on a bitch. Like, Here, Ashley, when you talk, you have to talk, like, the, like in the mic. I gotta make like, out with it, right? Yeah, like not try to hear yourself out type shit. If you get, <laughs> if you can't hear yourself, it's because the mic's not picking it up. Okay, cool. yeah, for sure. Just like try to make sure it's like always directly being wrong. <laughs> okay, I gotta get used to it. <laughs> it's my first day out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, six feet going deep. I have a question for both of y'all. I'm curious. You never answered what I asked. Oh, yeah, how does we make me feel, man? Ahead. We makes me feel fucking amazing. I love it. Um, <laughs> now I've been smoking for a, for a while. Yeah. I have periods in my life where weed benefits me and I have periods in my life where weed takes away from whatever I got going on. So I would say yes. there's a balance to it. You should know when to take a break. It's a, sure. it's okay to take two, three months off. Right now I'm smoking every day, but sober October. If I'm going to do that shit, Hot. go Hot. back. Oh, yeah, I'm heavy on that. Yeah, yeah. Like, you got to have balance. you got to yeah. have that because if not, you get too like lost does, in the does salt. It make you feel not, sure. yeah. Does it make you feel scared, though? What? Weed. Um... <laughs> What? <laughs> nah, I, I've been right. paranoid at the beginning. When I first started smoking this shit, bro, I was I was young though. I was like 12, 13. 
man i used to get paranoid and shit because i would just get too high but now I'm, I'm, I'm so used to it my brain's so used to being high it's like it knows not to get nervous or scared it's like okay this is this is what you feel me i feel like i'm like the only person like oh my god i'm so alone like <laughs> by myself because well, like, you don't nah, you don't nah, you're nah. not usually high yeah. so like when you're high bro, you're i was a big ass these, pothead these anxious you're right, you very smoke smoke, but it also depends on what type of strains you smoking what type of terpenes bro, i was smoking your weed Oh, I don't know. I've had a bunch of weed <laughs> come from all sorts of all over the world. So, like, it really depends on, like, how your shit has grown and how your body reacts to it. Um, that's why I feel like when you smoke, you should know, like, what strain you're smoking and what type of terpenes are in it. Because I feel like certain types of terps, like, can trip you out. Whereas, like, other certain type of terps can, like, you know, mellow you out, knock you out. Yeah. I think um, people they're not an appetite. they're not so in tune with that like the knowledge of that people think it's just the THC that gets you high but the terpenes which is like the oils and shit within the bud and stuff that's what those are profiles so they yeah. give you different types of effects besides the THC and your body's you know what natural I'm saying? Like, chemistry too is just how it like reacts to it yeah. together you can hear yourself right kind of yeah yeah <clears throat> yeah Sounds good. Yeah. yeah I, can hear I just want to make sure that you're like. <laughs> <laughs> you had no, I want to make sure that I can hear both of you guys too. Because when I start talking and I start moving, like it'll fade a little yeah, bit. Yeah, try so not to move sure. so much. Like, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Because you move, you're like. <laughs> I know. Like right? a fire I'm talking with my hands. <laughs> Literally, like. I'm such a talk with my hands as a bitch. Okay. What was your question? <laughs> what was your question, Gio? Oh, um, yeah. So I was thinking and. Oh, I had a question right here. I was gonna say, and I kind of forgot what it was. I'm gonna cut you off, but yeah, big on no, the tolerance no, no, no. breaks <laughs> and like don't be. The yeah, I had like 30 more it. questions about the weed that we're gonna yeah. talk about. But I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna <laughs> cut off yeah. the weed all day. So no, but um, I was gonna ask you what you think of like Delta Eight, like oh. when the weed, cause bro, <laughs> cause bro, I bought like I was working at this store, and the the store weed got me way higher than like this nigga's weed yeah. nice i ain't gonna lie so look i was on a, a tolerance break and for a while i was like not smoking shit but i went to my brother's crib and he had these delta gummies and stuff he smokes a lot of weed but he's like oh i don't i have those sitting there i don't fuck with them i smoke why do i need to take them so i'm like all right i was like 15 days sober and this was last year and i was always totally talking shit about delta tape because I, I love smoking i love bud you feel me like now you know every you, you get your shit from it so I'm like, fuck it. Let me take this little gummy. I, I probably won't get higher from it because Delta never did nothing to me. I'm in the car and we're going to like some, it's like a petting zoo. And my brother has <laughs> my brother has kids and my sister has kids. So my mom wanted to take them out there so we can take a bunch of pictures and stuff. And that That's was, so yeah. cute. I love so that. we're out there doing that and shit. And um, on the way there, I just felt my eyes getting low. And I'm like, why do I feel so high? And I remembered I took the gummy like 45 minutes ago. Yeah, and that shit started fucking me up. Like, I really started feeling like, yo, I'm gone. Like, what the fuck is going on? And by the time I got there, it was like, it was over. It was game over. I was so high, walking around petting goats and shit. Like, nice. I was having a blast, yeah, but I was lit. You know, yeah, I didn't think Delta was going to get me like that. But it's funny because Delta does have his shit. You just got, I think you got to have a low tolerance or just not be smoking so much regular weed. You know what's the most fun? Like, doing psychedelics. Because yeah. it's like, that shit just like, creeps up on like you forget like does it happen to you guys where you just forget that you took something and then you're just like wait a minute <laughs> something's not right uh it depends i think it depends who you're around like do you remember that you took like the psychedelics hell yeah until the fucking yeah. trip wears off i think unless you're someone who does it dozens <laughs> of times then you're probably gonna get to that point not but it, it, i've done it like less than 10 times i always kind of keep track of it like okay i know i took it 20 minutes ago 30 minutes ago no I, I i do too but then it's like like for me i remember the second time i took acid it was <laughs> you forgot you took it <laughs> no like because I, I was with my friends and we're like having fun and shit and then it's like all of a sudden things start like turning into bubbles right like a bunch of <laughs> bubbles just started appearing i'm like what the fuck what is this and everything just started like like my finger like <laughs> like everything was just like turning into bubbles and like flight flooding into the air I'm like wait a minute what is this <laughs> and that's everything was like dissolving it's like, like it that looks are fun you know the funniest part about these conversations i told my supervisor and my manager this year at my job that uh i had a call out a rolling loud weekend I'm so that sorry, i could fucking at the fucking <laughs> derby and shit no but i told them one weekend the weekend of rolling loud i'm like look i have to call out because you know i do uh i do these interviews and stuff with six oh, that was this and year? That. yeah that was this year, year. Hey. i went i went this year and last year last year was the first year and that's when we snuck in actually you gotta press 
<laughs> yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, okay, the, remember the soundboard. So, um, <laughs> Roland Lau was that weekend and shit. No, 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 you could. And fucking. Wait, you locked your door, right? Supervisor. Yeah, I locked my door. He <laughs> said he locked your door. That's right? why I bought that's what was going on. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> Listen, we ain't going to talk about it right no, now. Said, that's why I did that. Like, oh, the, the movie. Yeah, I know. That's why I, I first heard the door. I'm like, bro, it can't be this nigga boy. But. Um, <laughs> real small, real small. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, actually it's funny. She's like, "Damn, nigga, you are, you you banging on that door like the fucking off, bro." <laughs> nah, it's just funny as fuck, bro. And to think, man, I ain't gonna get into it. But yeah, okay. So, rolling loud, Anyways, rolling loud. What was I saying? Twenty twenty three, twenty twenty three, rolling. Oh yeah, I had to tell my supervisor, my manager, that uh, I was going to do interviews and shit. And my manager's like, "Oh, let me see the the page and stuff." He started checking it out. So now every time I have these cards, I'm like, "Man, these niggas gonna come and bring me to the office one day." And I'm like, "Hey, uh, so you said you enjoy psychedelics?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah." So now I gotta do the podcast full time. Uh, I'm out this bitch. But we just gotta we gotta sit instead of psychedelics say. Yeah, so I was taking a few. Uh, <laughs> yo, that's so funny because my manager, because bro, my manager, since I don't work there no more, he was like, "Bro, Nick, you go, you're gonna run it out, bro. You can leave, bro. bro. Get the fuck out of here." Nah, you had me dead, bro. Because you folded on me, bro. You don't even but, have to come, bro. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that shit had me dying. I'm like, there's no fucking. He's like, like, oh yeah, bro. I forgot to tell you, dog. You, <laughs> you don't gotta come in no more, bro. Don't even trip, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually, I want you to tell Dio. About like our your ex, I want to hear from because I don't think we've hung out since then. No, no, we did. Really? Yeah, we did. But I want to hear on your <laughs> side of the story when we went to Rolling Loud. What happened? I want you to tell Gio what happened. What what happened? What happened at Rolling Yo, Loud? you don't remember that shit when we snuck in? Like tell it, <laughs> <laughs> tell it from your like side. Um, I don't know, dude. I just remember that whole <laughs> shit was like random as fuck. And you know it was lit. Like now you don't remember. You don't remember how. <laughs> it's like oh, it's lit. And that's the story. You don't. You don't remember how we did it though. Yeah, we just walked in that bitch for real. Like <laughs> no, look. Okay, so yeah, okay. right. We were walking, right? This nigga got finesse. Buy fucking. Tickets. Who got finesse? I didn't not get finesse. You out here buying scams. I didn't tickets. get finesse. Yeah, I didn't get nah. tickets. And his wife, but mine didn't. Bro, got yeah, 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 mine didn't. <laughs> So no, then no, no. What, like, what's, nah, what's, wait, wait. What's funny about it is because I told her like, because this is when I was on my manifestation shit, like heavy, heavy. Uh-huh. Right? And I told, I told Ashley, I was like, bro, you just got to believe, <laughs> you know, believe you gotta, it. you gotta believe that it's gonna work and it's gonna work. I, I don't, because I'm pretty sure it was so they were fake work? because you didn't believe and I knew you didn't believe. I was like, fuck, bro, this girl didn't fucking believe, <laughs> bro, because I, bro, on God, we bought it from the same nigga. My shit was green. I saw that shit. I was like, oh. I was like, fuck. I was like, I was so. Re- I was like, damn. I thought I was scammed. I got in, and I see your shit, and your shit was red. And you were full of anxiety. You were like so scared and shit. And I was like, bro, she didn't believe. <laughs> she didn't believe. Though. God did. <laughs> God did. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's so tricky though buying tickets out there, or buying a wristband nah, for somebody. Man. That's some scam shit. I found, no, man. I found one. Wait, that shit was a, that was a W Ultra plus. Well, wait, I bought wait, a real let, one. Let this me finish. What was craziest about it is that we were like, all right, let's go to, and tell them that we lost, like our shit's not working, so we can like scam, like not scam them, but like you know, yeah, finesse. get through, yeah. And so we go there, right? And then she's like trying to get her shit fixed, and I'm like, oh, mine worked. And I look, where the fuck is my wristband? You didn't have it, <laughs> bro. This shit nah, fell off, yo, double and, trouble, dog. Yeah. Yeah, I think I paid like how much did we pay like one thirty, right? I remember. <laughs> we paid like one thirty, and that my shit fell off, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? Where the fuck my shit at? Yeah. Because at first I wasn't really tripping, because I was like, if anything, I could get it. I, I wouldn't leave you, but if <laughs> he would have left. <laughs> <laughs> but if <Y'all> know. <laughs> if if it came to that, you know, if you got a ride and you left, I would have just gone in myself. But then it's like, you know, I was like, once that happened, I was like, oh, this is serious. <laughs> <laughs> but then um, my homeboy, he's, he came through. He's like, yo, my girl's going to give you a shirt. So he, he gave us the shirts, remember? Yeah, that shit was hard. Shout out to her. I hope she's good. Somewhere. Bro, but we we just like walked. It was so funny walking in there because you're like, oh, damn, this actually worked, fucking worked. Yeah. <laughs> and that all happened in GTA because it's all illegal and you yeah. can't do that in real life. Man. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. No, no, yeah. We we had a similar story though, bro. We um, Was it really similar? We just spent any money. Well, I, yeah, we didn't spend any money. But she spent like 200, 250. So? Yeah. <laughs> and what about it? You live and learn. <laughs> nah, but. Yeah, no, nah, we snuck. We went around for hours though, and we were at a point where we were like, 
like right next to VIP and shit, we could have went in through with Draco. You said it was gonna meet up with Uzi that night. Oh yeah. And you were like, man, fuck that. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck you mean fuck that? It's Uzi, it's little Uzi fucking vert. And then we ended up going back watch. to the front. I don't want to watch. Um, I want to do interviews. We went the whole way around. We found like these food stands type shit, and they had a gate open. And there was like, a, it wasn't even a big open. It was a small open. I'm like, yo, cut through, cut through. We ended up walking through and shit. And there was a dude right by with like, he was half ass checking wristbands. We walked up and he just goes. <laughs> then he goes, not checking wristbands, bro. Not, we just walked the in that bit. There was a person up there though. He checked the wristband. When no, we walked up, not. he just went like that. Bro, we just walked in that bit. We bro. literally walked in that shit, but there was a dude there. Like he was supposed to be doing this shit. He's just like, yo. And then we went in and Polo G was performing. I was mad though. Not mad, but I was like, damn, we missed a little. I thought Uzi. it was the baby. Uh, no, nah, Polo was performing when we first got there. And then it was the baby. And then it was uh then it was future. We missed that shit. Cause Travis Scott hadn't performed in like two years because of Astro World. So we're walking out and Nick didn't tell me shit. I didn't know nothing about the schedule. I'm like, fuck, you know what I'm saying? We got to see the baby. That's pretty cool. Cause As we're walking out, I hear Future go. I'm like, nah, this nigga's performing, bro. I'm missing this shit. We got in for free. Like, I could be watching Future right now. But we, we had already walked out. So to sneak go. back in would have been hard. Because we didn't go to, like, get in. We just and wanted then, to go well, I wanted to go to get in. Because once <laughs> once I heard Uzi perform, I'm like, bro, I got to go. I got to. I wanted to see it. Because I heard it uh, saying Queenie Paradise. Yeah, and then this nigga like, goes yeah, the next hard. day. Yeah, I went the next day. I bought a ticket for like one day. It was like seventy bucks or so. From was, a scalper, right? Nah, it was some dude. He went the first two days, and then he didn't. He was gonna go Sunday. And I was like, "Fuck that, Kendrick performing." So I ended up going. Uh, yeah, I seen Kendrick. I seen. I forgot who I seen that. It was a bunch of people, but it was seventy bucks. It was worth it. <laughs> what? Did he go? Did he go this year? Facts. Nah, I didn't. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna. <laughs> I was about to press it. <laughs> it was funny. Nah. It's funny. I sent you a. I sent you an email. It's it like, felt like I was there though. That shit was everywhere. But I sent you. Was, I sent you cool an email. But it wasn't too special. I sent you an email. It's like yeah, a win. I, I win remember a when I used to go when it was really lit. Yeah. Wait, come here. Remember like when it first started? Nick was around in that era. Were you there? Wait, wait. I sent you a. I sent you a email for a sweepstakes. So you answer it. So for California. So that if we win, we could go. No, I'll sign up. You didn't answer it. I didn't even see it. I didn't know. Oh, I sent. No, I sent you in, in text. Oh, okay. Well, okay. you no, went I'll to the first one in the library. We did that sweepstakes. Um, nah, but I remember like that whole shit, like when it first started. Like, so you didn't go? And I, I didn't go. You know how I, I went remember with? that shit? No, I went with Jerry. Ah! Yo, yo, you Shout know Jerry. Yo, you know I went to LA with Jerry with, and him. Oh, yeah. you know Jerry? Yeah, I know Jerry. <laughs> Shout out my dog, family he need God too. Have you, yeah, fuck with, bro. have you seen him in a, in a while? Nah, but I was talking to him the other day. Oh, for real. Yeah, yo, I, I've, I've never like chilled with him like that though. Yo, tell her the story of when he threw the Taco Bell. <laughs> He's such an asshole. Oh, He's so funny the, though. The highlight of that <laughs> weekend like, was he threw a frappe. He threw a frappe at you with it. And it, nah, it was barely taco, missed your it was head. Taco Bell. He nah, threw his Taco Bell. He threw what? Who? It was, a, what? Who? It was a frozen. It was a frozen drink. I don't remember. Jerry from where. threw a frozen yeah, drink. Jerry threw a frozen drink. At nah, he threw his whole Taco Bell at me. Remember? He threw the whole bag. The whole bag. <laughs> nah, I, was, I, I think you? he threw his drink after yeah. that. Nah, because he was mad the but whole why? time. He was mad because he wanted to smoke weed. Right? <laughs> he was like, "Oh, nigga, let's go to the dispensary. Let's go to." I was like, "That boy had all the gas that weekend. <laughs> he was like straight up." Because you know what, bro? I didn't smoke weed back then, so I yes, didn't he didn't give a fuck. Yeah. yeah, if I was more on point, I wouldn't have gave a fuck. But I was like, "Yo, I'm fucking out here. I'm 17. I'm trying to smoke the best weed. Like, obviously, I want to smoke some shit." But actually, have you been to LA? No, I've only been to like Colorado, Texas, New York. Well, how's the weed in Colorado? <clears throat> Bomb. I want to try their shrooms. Yeah. But I I don't like Colorado. I feel like they racist out there. Like, I don't know. I, I do not feel safe out yeah, there. Yeah, it's a little different. Vibe. I don't, they don't, like, they don't like black queens? I'm not black. I'm Peruvian. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> 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 oh, now my landlord was Peruvian. Yo. <laughs> And oh. I hated him. Not playing. <laughs> nah, yo, I, I, I want to tell this. I want to tell this story, right? So the other day, uh, yesterday actually, I'm like driving down US one, right? And then just this like nigga, he's like, he's like, he has a sign. I'm like, oh look, a homeless person. Let me give him money, right? So, so I, I rolled down my window. He's like, yo, thanks for supporting the music, bro. Follow me, J Star. <laughs> J Star. Yeah, yeah. niggas don't be doing that shit anymore. He loco for real. <laughs> They're giving out the mixtapes. Nah, yeah, nah, he, yeah, he told me to follow him, right? And I'm like, all right, and I'm like, oh, you know, I, nigga, 
<laughs> I'm like, yo, I could put, and it made me think, like, yo, bro, I could really make niggas famous on here. You, you were like, if only you knew who you're talking to. <laughs> that was funny as fuck. But, bro, I was really hoping that this nigga's music was not ass, right? Like, mm-hmm. I was hoping that, I was like, you know what? He's out Let me here. give him a chance. I'm going to listen to it. I hope it's fire. If yeah. he's out here doing this shit, like, really, like, on the street, grinding to promote his music, you know, I'm thinking, no, I'm some like, fire you're grinding. Shit. Yeah, like, I'm thinking he might have paid to go to a studio. <laughs> you get me? <laughs> Bruh, I'm like, you know, I'll give this nigga a chance. So I listen Learning to CDs it. CDs in his room. I go on this nigga <laughs> SoundCloud, bruh. Bro. <laughs> Shout out SoundCloud. Bruh, this nigga's music was the worst goddamn music I ever heard in my fucking life, bro. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, nah. Like, shout, hey, shout outs to bro. Shout outs to J Star Movement. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny that I was like, bro, we are not making up the hood with this. <laughs> he said, yeah, bro, I'm up next. Stop the cat. <laughs> Fuck no. But, bro, it's like, it's like, bro, it was so bad. It reminded me of like when I started making music, right? And I started making music in like 2014. And I'm just like, okay, it's 2014. So I'm pretty sure that music is ass for everyone, you know? But it's like, it's 2023. <laughs> Why is music so bad, bro? <laughs> You know what, bro? That's like the one thing that we digress. So, like, if you look at certain things, right? What fashion, does digress mean? Like, it, we went backwards. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look at like fashion, if you look at uh, <laughs> technology, you can look at our road systems. You can look at all these things. They only went upward. They only like improved. If you look at music and you see like Beethoven and fucking the shit that uh that these people were right back then, the music was way more dynamic. It, had, it was way more complex. It was way more shit going on. At the same time, you got a whole Let's fucking about Beethoven. orchestra. <laughs> nah, but on some real shit. Nah, cause right? Because now you, now I, I, I could, you I could play shit, a, bro. Because this shit was worse than Blueface. Like, yo, look at this. But that's shit, the bro. thing, right? I could play a Blueface song for a week straight if it's hard enough. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how does something so simple become so appealing to the no, human brain? No, it's not brain? that it was simple, bro. It was, I, it was trash. Nah, he, he has some, <laughs> like he has some is, bangers on, like on schoolyard, bro. <laughs> he's like, if I will tell. And um, but, like he's rapping, but so bad, bro. But that's like, what you I'm never getting heard. At. That's what I'm getting. You never heard. I saw it's like <laughs> you look at what they used to put out, right? And but all these crazy orchestra, you know all these fucking string artist. settings and shit like that. It's like we really we we don't his care confidence. about good music. Here, one at a time, please. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, but his his confidence does have a lot to do with. Well, most people Hell are successful no, bro. because of their I don't confidence. give a fuck how confident you are, nigga. I'm not bumping that shit in my car. <laughs> blue face, baby. <laughs> yeah, I would right. bump blue face. Yeah, not you, but he will. <laughs> Nah, bro, that shit was because sometimes I be listening to my music because that's why I was sending you so much on my music. Because yeah. I'm like, bro, I pray to God my music was not this trash, bro. <laughs> like, hey, shout out to bro, he's doing his thing. You know, I'm not, not, I'm not trying him. I was just really hoping, like, I had so much like hope in hope this nigga, bro. Was, yeah, like I, it's like my expectations are so fucking high. Have you? <laughs> he just brought him because, bro, when I listen to that shit, dog, oh my god. It was so this bad. This shit not hitting, little bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Have you had any like mixtape gas station experiences? You'll never, hey. you'll never buy the bike. Hey, I'm taking donations. Yeah. I'm taking donations. <laughs> yeah, the, the mixtape was free, but it's nah. $15 for donations. Not the do- donations, not but the I've donos. had people come up to me and like give me their CDs. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's fine. I support that shit. Fuck it. Nah, I remember one time my homeboy came up to me and I was cool, bro, because we had a few conversations before, but. <laughs> I go to the gas station. He goes to sell me a CD. I'm like, well, I already bought one, bro. But you know what? I'm going to buy another one to show love. I put it in my pocket. I walk in. It was like, I, pay, I give him like two bucks. And he gave me a CD. I walk in. <laughs> and some black lady's there. She's like, why you do that? You know you ain't going to listen to that bullshit. I'm like, bro, why you do him like that? She's just going off on him. I'm like, man, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to show some love. But No, nah, Ashley shows love to the local rappers. I know that's what she likes. Cause last time, <laughs> we, a local rapper. last time we hang out, I think you said to me the word local rapper at least 28 times. <laughs> Shout out to my homesteader friends that rap. Not playing. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> nah, cause you was like, oh, and they're local and they're local. <laughs> you kept saying that. Really? What yeah. are you talking about? Cause you wanted me to go to some show. Some show? Yeah. There was like some show and like, they're like, Oh like yes, show. yes, yes. It was at my friend's studio. Um, so yeah, like I thought you guys would like, no, but I think it was funny because you kept saying, and then they're local, and then you kept talking, and, you're like, and they're local. Because you're local! <laughs> but it was just funny the way you were saying it. I didn't say anything at the time. I just thought it was funny. Like, <laughs> that's why I looked the fifth time you said <laughs> Like, I, I get it. They're Take local. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was just funny. Oh my gosh, she's back! 
<laughs> she recharged. No, I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, so it's, my, it's like my mind was white, right? <laughs> question, what was your question? Question I, I wanted to ask y'all earlier, right? So you know, we all have like errors and stuff. We all go through shit. We all have like these times in life where they're different. You know what I'm saying? Are you guys scared or nervous or sad that this version of yourself won't last forever? You guys want another beer? <laughs> I even opened the one. first one. <laughs> Whoever wants so it, good. appreciate it. <laughs> Cause it tastes like pencils, right? I, I guess a, a better, a more positive way to, to ask this question. I like wine and champagne. You have wine. Yeah, yeah, I have white wine. Why are you lying to me? Uh, no, last, uh, no, I did have a bottle of white wine in there. I didn't want to give it because my mom, my OG oh, yeah. gave it to me. I was like, no, uh, no we got respect. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. special. No, but y'all can special feel me like. No, it's because I opened the I opened the fridge and I'm like this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the red one I was drinking out the bottle. That's why I told you last Not, time. I'm like, yo, I've been drinking out that one. You know, like, I almost finessed these, bro. Because you know, like on the thing, it says ten dollars, right? It says ten forty nine for the fifteen pack. Shout out to Natural Ice. Shout out to Natural Ice, man. You, you want to get drunk for a budget? <laughs> go right it. Go for the low ski, you feel me? Go get you a, a fifteen pack of these. You gonna be, you be chilling, bro. The shit said ten forty nine, right? And then homegirl at the race track, she's like, "Oh, um, our our system is down, so we have to pay cash." And luckily for me, I got ten bucks in my. In, like, you know, in my in my wallet. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. Um, it says 10:49, so I have ten dollars here. And she's because you know how like most of the time they don't give a fuck about the yeah the change. The right? change but Fifty cents a little crazy. Actually, bro. I forgot to tell you, you're not allowed to be on your phone during the podcast because <laughs> okay. you're supposed to be engaged. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so high. <laughs> maybe I do need this after all. <laughs> so, anyways, so she's it says 10:49. So I'm like, all right, bet. <laughs> So I'm just gonna give her the ten bucks because she'll probably be nice and just let me get the you know. Yeah. You get that pop? Yeah. yeah, I heard it. It's, <laughs> she's like, it's obnoxious. a real podcast. The obnoxious <laughs> ass pop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking Coca Cola commercial. <laughs> Is that expensive? She okay? No, nah, it's a natty ice commercial. Sure. We bougie out here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's my birthday in seven days, bitch. Cheers, Cheers. Hell yeah, hell yeah. My life, my life. Ooh. Happy birthday, happy birthday. By the time this is out, you'll you make eye contact when you. And age older. Oh, damn. I to drop it all over your equipment and shit. Yo, you know what's so funny? I was looking at um episode thirty two. I'm not gonna say it of the podcast, and then it's funny because we were like cheersing, and it's funny because like right now I was thinking about that. Anyways, so all right, see you and on. <laughs> so um, so I said ten forty nine. I'm like, bet she's gonna be nice and let me just give her the ten. So then I give it to her and she, she and she's like, uh, you know, she's like, wait, it says twelve dollars because of the taxes, I'm like, bitch. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will save just like two bucks. Yeah, seventy yeah? percent. Yeah, that's like a dollar and some change right there. Oh god. And then I was like, fuck, you know, like I have two bucks, but those that's that's what I give to homeless people, you know, like I like that's my homeless people money. So <laughs> I don't want to give it to. Child, you see, <laughs> so then I eventually, I just I was like, I just came back and uh uh. <laughs> I saw her. I was looking at her. I was like, she, I was like, look at her, like for her fucking phone. Uh uh. Uh uh. You wish. You thought, boy. But yeah. So, anyways, long story short. Tatiana. She, she made me. She made me pay the two dollars, and then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give her an extra dollar just so she feels bad. And so I was like, hey, here, bro. Every time I kept that shit, bro. I've noticed every time that I tip. <laughs> Every time I tip people, that's your pocket. I notice, <laughs> I notice that every time that I tip people, they are very unappreciative. No, nah, I had I had one experience with a, a crackhead. He told me to buy him a lighter, and then when I came out, he's like, "Oh, this isn't the right color. I don't like this color." It was a black lighter, so I was like, "All right, bet." I put it back in my pocket and I drove home, and I just thought about it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's hey, bro. When I was working at the store, you know I mean? it's That's so a true story. <laughs> now nah, you didn't see that video of like the nigga. He was he got mad at the guy. He's like, nigga, why you give me a pink lighter for? Yeah, those are <laughs> funny. But I gave you the black lighter. Like, how you don't want a black? It's just a nah, regular lighter. You know lighter. what happened to me one time? Uh-huh. I got PTSD when it comes to homeless people. So one time, I thought I was doing a, doing a good deed. You know, like I was like super young. I was like. Or something. I feel like you're doing that on per- like, like, bruh. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, no. like, you had the mic right, like, 300. <laughs> Y'all, I just feel like dropping and, like, you know. You, can't you could adjust it. adjust it, I think, if you squeeze, like, help, yeah. help her out with it. Oh, my God. Oh, you, yeah. got it, you got it. You got it. What about this side? 
I think that's as tight as it no. goes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yo, she looks like a streamer. She Unfortunately, looks, she looks like a streamer, right? You do. You look like you could be on Twitch or like oh, yeah. Kick dot com. Be yeah. like, guys, sub to my uh Hell twitch yeah. at ashley gaming if i get paid to play video <laughs> games i do that shit but that you shit. could though ashley you know what's so yeah, crazy but. all right so i actually i fuck with streamer i want to be a streamer you would just being a female you could press stream on my computer right now and you'd get like 10 15 times the amount of viewers that i'd get just because you're a girl which is fire you yeah. feel me but that's yeah. why you should do it like you feel me get on that shit take advantage yo i actually met episode 30 one not 32 oh because now i'm thinking i think you said 35 dog no 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 no. it was with um, some girl yeah anyways so (laughs) episode 32 with my friend brie she's like i've never been on live before so so she goes on instagram live immediately she gets a (laughs) hundred yeah yeah, you know what i'm saying like it that's just go on nah i was thinking about it we should have gone live we can get super chats we should we have to we literally have to bro there's no reason why we should every single time i speak to someone who's like oh like why don't you go live i want to watch it live yeah drop my OF. they were telling me (laughs) (laughs) yo you still be using that i want to get into it more i'm just like i i I have i have the time for it now so i want to take it more seriously yo what do you think about people who subscribe to it it's whatever what do, you, what do you think about people that you know this is gross? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is what it is. Like, shit, we nah, grown. What, mean, do you, like, what do you think about people on the podcast? <laughs> it's crazy because Sophie was telling us that she put, as a girl we did a podcast with one time, she told us she put a, a OnlyFans link in her thing. She wasn't, she didn't actually have an OnlyFans, but she put a link. And when you put the link, it tells you who clicks on it. And she's like, oh, there was some interesting people that clicked on it. Yeah, why didn't you subscribe to my OnlyFans? <laughs> like, I can imagine, yeah, it's probably like, I don't know. Why I wouldn't you, want to say like family members and shit. But I'm you, sure some why, weird people. Why don't you subscribe my to my OnlyFans? Only Are you supposed to support? Are you supposed to? Su- but you're supporting. I mean, I'll follow it if it's free. <laughs> but if it's not free, no, I'm not gonna not, pay it's, for that. It's shit. five bucks. I've made five dollars off of it. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> do it a thousand <laughs> times. Just a disclaimer. I have oh, yeah. nothing to do with his career. <laughs> oh yeah, click the click the link tree in my bio because <laughs> the all the way to the now is all the way to the bottom. Drop the link. <laughs> Now you know what's funny. You guys want to know something funny? I yeah. remember my dad followed me, so I took the OnlyFans link. Off. Bro, I yeah, never even told you my OnlyFans story. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. My dad be liking all the podcasts and shit. I'm like, damn, this nigga really be hearing everything we talk about. Oh, but, for real? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just crazy. What were you gonna say? That, uh, that's why I'm glad my com- my family doesn't know how to use YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> nah, people. I know so, people that be like watching the whole episode, and they be like, oh yeah, because what you said on this part, and I'm like, you you you're, you were that far in. No, like, I'm damn. not gonna lie. Like, I'll watch full interviews of like my favorite artists. I'll do that shit. I don't give a fuck if it's 40, yeah. 60 minutes long. I'll watch that shit. Who's your nah, I, love, art? I love doing like, that shit. So who's, your, game. who's your favorite artist right now? Well, right now, honestly, <clears throat> just because I saw her live. SZA? Beyonce. Oh. I went to the Renaissance tour. What was that like last uh, week? Bitch, I was gay. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that like the tour was that was like hard to get tickets to and shit? No, it was like last week, right? I, think I don't like know. I, think I mean, I got the tickets last minute as fuck, and I got great seats. Wait, I felt like she wait, was wait. right there with my blind ass. So nice, you know nice. it was good seats. Did you actually get in, though? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> was it? Did your thing go red? Huh? <laughs> did your thing go red? <laughs> No. I thought you said dick. I'm like, oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> yeah, floor seat. Stop. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> so I basically got floor seat. Like the guy was like, oh, so you, oh, you so want to go to the floor? I was right. She, he she was like, was you want to go to the floor? <laughs> He's like, you want to go to the floor? Because my friend was in the floor. She was like in the club renaissance. Yeah. I was like, yo, you can take me down there. He's like, yeah, come. And I was like, I was with somebody, but so I was like, oh shit. No, it's oh, the, you got you got to get the the good <laughs> seat. <laughs> no, I want to I want to get floor seats to a, a basketball but game. That shit was like it was basically. But um, yeah, my homeless man story. <clears throat> that you couldn't be on your phone. <laughs> yeah, but I'm doing business. <laughs> he said you oh, was just looking at you're just looking at city getting city of money. <laughs> you're just looking at stories. Guys, <laughs> 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 business. Shit. Mm-hmm. We'll get to that. Here, what happened with your road. with so, your homeless with your homeless lover? Okay, my homeless man story. I was like 16 <laughs> years old and I had just gotten a job. Like, you know, I was like, was "Oh, I got money." Was that the movie theater? <laughs> Shit, maybe. Yeah. Was that your first job? It was. It was. See, that's that's where we first met because I trained her because she didn't know how to do shit. So I was like, "Bitch, you gotta do this." <laughs> what do you, you mean? Do. So you worked in the movie theater. Yeah, how long were you working there before me? <laughs> you don't remember? You trained me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
<laughs> Crazy. But no, no, let's talk about this. You guys my, had been working there? My favorite. My I remember he would work out during his break. I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> you fucking like, would, yo. This guy would dude, work out during his break. Yo, I'm all about self help, bro. <laughs> You heard this David Goggins interview, man? <laughs> wait, 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 yo, did you see the clip? It says, how to get, how to wife a girl who oh, got trained. Oh, who got trained. Yeah, I see the title to that shit, bro. Bro, I love the comments on that shit. Like, that shit's blowing up. It's what funny as fuck. No, like, uh, we did a, a podcast with my friend, and we talk- clipped it all up, but we we're talking about Adam and Lena. You know what I'm saying? The whole no, no, we were talking. We we're talking about like like a girl getting trained, right? Like if you could wife her up, like how? Like can you wife a girl that's been like? Have you ever been trained before, Ashley? No, what the fuck? For real? Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, we need a, ch- a choo choo <laughs> vibe out nah, here, bro. Right? Is it really fuck. weird? Nah, but do you want? It's what like it's fuck? like a threesome for girls. Isn't I would it? never do that shit. Unless I'm getting paid. No. <laughs> <laughs> so there's rules to the exception. Subscribe to your OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that's that's good though. You, I feel like saying? that's every girl's fantasy. Is it to get trained? Yeah. You no. think? Yeah. Honestly. You think it's every guy's fantasy? <laughs> yeah, niggas wish just how every guy wish they could have a threesome, right? That's fair. I don't know. I I never cared for threesomes to be honest. Like I never like. Yeah, I feel like it's like, a lot of work. Honestly, I okay. <laughs> what what. What you should all stay quiet? <laughs> I mean, I, I would never not. I would never deny one. Like, if my girl wants to do it, I bet let's do it. You know, but I feel like I wouldn't like actively seek one. You know, that's cool. You never asked for one. Pervert. <laughs> you never asked for a threesome. Nah, I think you know what it is, bro. I feel like my ex turned me off of that shit because she's because wow. she because she was so she was so boring. She was so sex. No way. She was so sexually boring. I feel like yeah, she was so boring sexually. So I was just like, or she I, just didn't like you. I mean, she, we were together for a long ass time, so I don't know. Doesn't mean she likes you. I don't know. Maybe she didn't. <laughs> but oh, shit. but I mean, she, I feel like that's probably why I don't really care, cause cause I I, I never thought that she would be down, cause her friend asked her, and she's like, "Ew, no." <laughs> that's funny as fuck. You you ever been you ever had a threesome, Ashley? No. <laughs> Stop, Stop the cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yo, that's hilarious. I don't know, like, I feel like a lot of people would believe that I'm, like, hypersexual, but I'm not. Like, you know, at least not for free. I feel like, you know, I had my younger days, so that shit was fun, but I don't know. I feel like now I wouldn't do that shit. How old are you right now? Well, you're going to, how old are you? Like 30. For real? (laughs) Basically. (laughs) No, I was just joking about me training you. You you trained me. For real? Yeah. I knew it was some shit like that. <laughs> I was, playing, I was, I was like, with you. nah, I've, I've been working there way before your ass. <laughs> so, okay, back to this homeless man. I gave, <laughs> I tried to like give him money, right? And he was like so mad at me because I tried to give him money. You know, I was like, yo, what the fuck? And like, I never, ever again, like, did that ever yeah. again. You could get stunted on by a homeless person. Like, I, don't know if y'all I was know this. like, what the fuck? You can All go. Right, <laughs> Get a cheeseburger for a homeless man. Give it You'll to him. Like, oh, and he's like, I don't want this. You just got stunted on. Yeah. You got stunted on by a homeless man, too. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> he said, Don, 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 Hell no. Nah, yeah, but yeah, you can get my business. After people, that. people think getting stunted on is exclusive to people that have money. It's like, oh, he stunted on me because he bought this. Or nah, bro, you can get stunted on Yo, by, have you guys ever by seen someone bling, with a bling? negative balance. Have huh? you guys ever seen Bling Bling the crackhead? Bling Bling boy? <laughs> nah, Bling Bling the crackhead, no. you no. never seen it? He's like, oh, I got this golden shopping cart, bitch. <laughs> it was like MTV Cribs, but for this crackhead. And he's like, oh, this is where I do all the crack Golden rock. shopping carts is crazy. That reminds, that's like a Tyrone Biggum's fucking. Bro, I, I got to show you. Dave Chappelle. I got to show you guys that video. <laughs> Yo, that's why we got to connect OBS to this shit, bro. I keep forgetting. I'm going to leave everything out tonight so I can just do it. All right. So, um, so one of the topics is. Is there a difference between leaving the world a dickhead versus leaving the world a saint? Like, like speaking of homeless people, right? Like, like how we're how we're all all three saying fuck the homeless niggas asking for money. I ain't say that. I was just. I mean, that's I was what upset we're all about. Like, I was upset about right? the lighter. I was just trying to be nice. Yeah, I was upset about yeah, the lighter okay. situation because I'm like, damn, Brett could have been grateful. I, I bought him my lighter. My but, own no. but then they're all being unappreciative, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so is it better? Cause sometimes I be doing like diabolical, like nefarious <laughs> shit, you know, and uh, I'll just be like, cause, cause it's funny. Yeah. But then at the same time, it's like I be trying to be a saint. Like, remember I told you the other day, I was like, uh, 
No, no, I, I, it wasn't you. It was my friend Gio, right? My friend Gio, <laughs> I pick him up and, and I'm like, oh, oh, Gio, you want some money? And he's like, what the fuck, Nick? And so I give him some bread and shit. And I get him like a drink and I take him to his crib. And, and he's, because I'm being super nice to him, right? <laughs> Actually, what I tell you about your fucking phone, bro? <laughs> what, you doing business? You better be getting a thousand bands or, you're, or you can't be on it. You got to get. We got to make a phone fee, bro. Anytime a, a girl, goes, yeah. Anytime a girl's on a phone, we got to make a fee. <laughs> a phone fee. It'll be like fifty cent. <laughs> but but um but um, it's like I was being super nice to him, right? And I was like, and he's like, "Yo, Nick, why are you being so nice?" I'm like, "Oh, I just like murdered someone, so I have to like balance my karma." <laughs> no. Are you, are you having fun over there? Bro, you don't even have the mic. <laughs> at least, I at least have the <laughs> mic with you. <laughs> See, that's why I wanted to have your friend. Because then, when you're on your phone, we could talk to her. Hey, friend. <laughs> hey, friend. And she can't even hear me. Hey. What was your topic, Gia? Yeah, Actually, no. None of us even said our topic. Is this your address? <laughs> why? Don't. <laughs> oh, this like. No, I'll put it in for you. Wait, what? What do you need an address for? Is my friend's gonna ride out? Ooh. Uh, my friend. Oh, she's leaving? Yeah. How are you gonna get home? I drove here. I'm just getting her a lift. Oh, for real? Yeah. All right, I bet. <laughs> I just wanna like finish my beer and chill, you know, like she's tired, so. Oh, I thought she was just chilling over there. Like, yeah. Doing her thing. <clears throat> but did you hear <clears throat> did you hear the topic? <laughs> I'm gonna say too much on camera. Though. Condominiums. <laughs> <laughs> nar nar. <laughs> <laughs> no, but is there anything um insightful happened to you to um this week, Gia? Wow. Yeah, I had a long <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I had a really long week so i will say this my, my highlight of my week was a good thing um i got my teeth like fully fully clean so now i can go get them whitened hey uh, yeah yeah so we we'll be out here not even hell yeah shout hell out yeah. my three oh foes scared to hit the road <laughs> don't, don't <monk> <laughs> 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 i don't know what i'm talking about oh he knows 304s come on oh, down oh he knows <laughs> nah, you gotta, you gotta be in tune to three or four. Yo, I was at a when I was at the beach yesterday. I, I saw the apartment was three or four, and I was gonna send you that. Nah, because <laughs> like I look at it and it literally looks like it says whole under like no. upside, upside down. Whole ass. Like the way it was written. <laughs> nah, that's funny as fuck. Uh, damn, I did have some good questions. All right, so you're what I want to ask you. is yeah, yeah. My week was pretty cool. I insights. Um. When you do people a lot of favors, just just be okay with however they turn out. It, whether it's good or bad, you can only do so much for certain people. That's the main insight I got. From oh, me. that's a word I know. Yeah, because man, you could you could Ooh. you could only do so much for certain people before they start to feel like you owe them something, and then it's like I don't owe you shit. I'm doing you this because I fuck with you. So you gotta have a, a limit, especially being a nice person. Are you throwing shots right now, bro? Oh, uh, nah, we good. Cause equal rights, equal get oh, equal less. Get equal less. So you yeah, know nah, your well, limits? yeah, nah. Um, there's people out there that I word I, of the week is bound. I'm relating to right now, and if you know what I'm saying, people are watching this shit and they feel some type of way. Fuck it, get at me. But damn, bro, it's been an hour already. That's crazy. We've already been talking. It feel like an hour. Yeah, nah. <laughs> What were you saying? Yeah. Um, do you guys feel like your dreams are still alive? Like the ones, the ones from our our sleep? No. <laughs> like your your dream, like what you aspire to be. Actually, is what that, is that that dream that you had when you were a kid or a teenager? Is that still alive? Actually, what's your dream? Like, I'm, I'm actually curious about that. <laughs> you want to be a rapper? <laughs> <laughs> Who gotta go first, Nick? No, but we gotta know what your dream is first. Okay. All right, I guess I'll go <laughs> first. Um, I always wanted to be an artist. Like what um, kind of artist? 
And then what kind of artist? Like an artist. Like I always saw myself like on stage, like turning up and shit. Like a rap artist, or you like Spanish? I don't know. I don't know. That means yeah, I'll, she want to be a rapper. I'll do like all sorts of <laughs> all shit. She want to be like J Star. That's all J Star. You want to you be like a like a, a someone who controls the crowd type deal. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. exactly. Nah, that whole crowd control shit. Is Yo, who did we see at Ronnie Lau that ate the donut off that girl's ass? Oh my god! <laughs> what, was that RMC Mike? Did I Wait. scare you? <laughs> did he eat the donut <clears throat> off the He ate the ass donut crack? off the booty. <laughs> or did he eat it off like video. a it was butt cheek? On the booty. I have the video. It was like, was it on like on top of the booty. And the crack? It was like on top of the booty. Oh, on top. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I was surprised. That's fair. That's she fair. Could, she like, could like, she could like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, he like, ate, if he ate a donut like all the eyes, yeah, that's some, that's some wild <laughs> shit. I ain't gonna lie. Especially <laughs> like on stage. Imagine uh, you're like, mm, nah, bro. <laughs> my favorite. It's, it's, it's rolling loud. Not two girls, <laughs> one cup, bro. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Now, but who was that? I forget. Was it like the the juice the the dough man or something? What's his name? BFB the Pac Man. The Pac Man. Oh, BFB the Pac Man. Yeah, he be <laughs> oh wilding my up. God. Shout out to him. He got some Shout funny ass. Him. He got some funny ass bit, uh, bars. One of his shit. He said, "Uh, he got a song with Koyle Ray." Damn, what yes, does he, he say? Does. Bitch, lion says she feel it in her stomach. Oh, <laughs> lion ass bitch, my dick ain't that big. <laughs> he be coming up as a free Joe exotic. That nigga has. He has a few yeah. songs. If you were out there at the takeovers, have you ever been to a takeover? Like the where people be swinging cars and shit like that. Oh, like the Carmies? Yeah, it's kind of like Carmies, but they be with like Hellcats and all type of stuff, and we just be swinging and shit. I don't go to. Bro, I saw more, a video of some bitch getting hit by a car, and she there. fucking flew. She was a big girl. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I there. seen one with a big girl recently. Hey, shout out to all the big girls, man! But stay out the pit, because if you can't BBW. if you can't move quick enough, you are gonna get hit. That's that's a bar right there. <laughs> stay out the pit. If you too big, you gonna Niggas get hit. Niggas are so serious. Yo, no, Ashley, but, have you ever tried to buy weed from someone and then like they they were like trying to get at you? Yeah. Like your plug, like your plug, we trying to get at you. Does that happen too often? <laughs> She's I mean, like, doesn't that plug. happen to everybody? How do you deal with that? I don't. I just got a new plug. <laughs> <laughs> I ignore it. I don't know. I don't be fucking niggas like that. Like, I'm not gonna suck your dick for bud or whatever the fuck you got. No. You know? Fair enough. Bitch, I got my own wee bitch. I got my own wee bitch. I just left oh, at the dispensary, bitch. Yo, isn't it, isn't it funny Shout how. Shout out 710 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah. Isn't yeah, it funny? It's crazy, too. Isn't it funny how, as guys, we don't have to worry about like our plug not. Serving us no more because we don't want to fuck. Them. Yo, and shout out to the plugs that don't but do that shit. It's a double edged like, sword because she probably getting three fives for the twenty. You yeah, feel know, me? Right? It's like you know what I mean. She can play the game and get the shit. Yeah, for the like load. I don't gotta pay for my weed though. Like, yeah, Yo, so, perks of so, being a girl. I guess. So let's say that allegedly you were serving, right, Ashley? If, okay, if it was like if it was like a nigga you liked, would you like trade? No, I don't play by my money. <laughs> Would you? Would so you fuck like? No, no, would you, no would exceptions. You, would you give him like a exception? <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> like a certain like discount or something. No, I fuck with you, boo. So I'm gonna <laughs> sell it to you for twenty five. <laughs> nah, unless I'm getting something out of it too. You know? True. You wanna hook up? Hook it up with like free weed and shit. Like, bro, like, as a man, why do you not have your own weed? Like, what the fuck? Yo, you I'm know already so more funny? masculine than you. I that's not such a, fuck that's you. so crazy, but nope. it's actually true. Like, that's <laughs> like, like a dude that can't get his own weed or he has to go through his lady to get weed. That's like a feminine. It's so weird. No, but it's, but, but it's kind of like, I don't know, bro. But now that you said that, it, it, it clicked to me. I'm but, like, damn, but a dude that be, doesn't have his but own weed. dudes be bragging about how much they can finesse a female. Yeah, yeah. that's fuck. Like, oh, Man. I got her to give me this or got her to buy me this. Especially like people that be serving and stuff, but having that intermission. I hear he's about them, bro. Be right back. Nick is gonna entertain you for the next two minutes. So I'm gonna tell you guys how you get a 720 credit score in six months. Please do. No, actually give him game, bro. The lift is outside.
It's like the the back of the freezer. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's that quick stop here. Then O E. No, because they give you like fifteen for ten bucks. You feel me? So. Oh, no. that's how it looks. Oh shit. Most of the time, I have a lot of people. Fifty nine. Oh, for sure. Holy crap. Can we like stop when it started now? Nah. Wow. Like, what's the longest video you have? For like two hours. Wow. Like two that's two crazy. hours and ten minutes. I think is the longest. Yo, I should like follow you guys with the camera like it's a reality show. Yeah, <laughs> Here, oh, Joe, you wanna you're gonna walk him or you gonna you want us to talk? I mean, I'd rather you just come here and talk with me, but whatever, bro, whatever you choose. <laughs> whatever you decide, my boy. So she's good. You were, t- you were telling your story. Oh, right. I don't know. <laughs> what are they talking about? <laughs> when did you get all those tattoos? I've been had them. No, you didn't. What do you mean? You wasn't that I guess out. this year. Last Damn, year, I haven't this seen, year? I haven't seen you in a whole year. Really? Yeah. No whole year, no way. No, it's quite. I don't know. You know what I like about you? Like, you're like. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> no. Shout out BBC. No, I'm playing. Shout out Rick Ross. Wait. Get blood, nigga. In the icy yeah. watch. <laughs> Trilla. Yeah. Uh, no. We are back. Where was that? That? <laughs> that might be the... <laughs> you know what that felt like? That felt uh, like when Fresh and Fit, when, like, when they Frank Castle, like they kick out the girls and shit. Oh yeah, that's funny. Because it's like you know, the whole chance to spend me castle, castle, castle. Bro, I wanna now. We gotta figure out how to like. We're gonna do it. Listen, bro. Imagine it's we already have the chat, out. Like, the only right reason here. why I hadn't why I hadn't done it is because um. I've bro, been why too don't lazy we go to pull live on your computer? Like, bro, why we can't. But the problem is the roadcast is not connected. So every time I go live on there, you can't really hear the podcast. So. It's not worth it. Trust it me, I'm gonna matter. I'm gonna connect it so that we get both at the same time. We don't even have to edit the podcast. We have two angles. OBS is all that shit, bro. I'm telling you. Like, trust me. I'm gonna leave it out tonight and I'm gonna figure it all out on the PC. I got you. This is why I wanted to come earlier. <laughs> yeah, we could have done it beforehand, but it's all good. No, I was actually late. But shout out to Ashley for waiting. Hey, yeah. yeah. Shout out to you for actually coming through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you for Ashley coming yeah. through. <laughs> Thanks for having me, y'all. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, cheers. Fever cheers. season. What's your sign? Um, cancer. Cancer. Shout out my cancers. Nick is. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Nick is a Pisces. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. How do you guys feel about like dating people that like, your same sign? <laughs> you don't go <give> fuck. <laughs> I don't like Libra men. Why? They're too balanced. I don't like men. Period. Oh, you're you're. Men are hoes. <laughs> let's just be honest. We're all hoes. All right, so be real. Let's just be We're real. All let's, let's get into let's it. Let's just then. be let's, real. You, wanna, you know what I'm saying? You want to get to? Are all men bad men? You really feel like really that depends. that way in your heart? I really feel like it depends on what type of guy you are. What you does know? that mean, though? I mean, you you just said fuck all men, so <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what what qualities right would make you feel that way about a man. You think all men are cheaters? Do you think all men are like? I mean, like... All right, not all, but the men you've dealt with. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to make it so general. No, I don't know. I just feel like you got to treat people accordingly, you know? Like, how not every girl's a hoe. How not every girl will cheat on you. Even though, like, niggas might think that, yeah, that bitch cheated on me a thousand times. Like, Now, I want to ask you something, but I'll be crazy. <laughs> what? Ask me. <laughs> nah. She said, ask nah. Me. You, you, you open the, you open the door already, yeah, bro. Already you feel me? <laughs> Go ahead. Nah, that's, like whole ba- that's like a whole boundary. <laughs> Go ahead. Nah, because I was thinking. All right, so like, I'm just gonna put it into context before I ask. So I'm gonna smooth it up a little bit. <laughs> so like, I was thinking about how like every girl's pussy is like different, right? Yeah, but like when you go in, right? Not not like the the fleshy part. I'm talking about like the experience. So okay. I want to know, like, do you know? Do you know what your experience is for niggas? That's a good way to ask her. Right? I mean, 
I think it's a good question because Ashley, I don't think people even ask about your pussy it. Like? <laughs> what's your What does your pussy make guys feel like? <laughs> no, but I'm generally oh, curious. Shit. Like, what is your ex- like? Like, do you like when girls be like, "Oh, I have this good pussy," right? It's like, I, it's like, do, do they really think, like, oh, it feels good to Wait, go in and how out, or is it like the ex, like the experience? How of you're like describing the it though is like other dimensional. Yes. Okay. okay. I think um, it depends. Like, yeah, you definitely want to like keep that fantasy alive for the man, right? But just besides like the physical aspect, like let's say it's like let's say you get taken to a realm, a different realm with every person. Every person takes you to a different dimension. That happens to you. No, I'm just I'm putting it in context. You know, that you. I think no, I'm but I do think I get what you're saying though. Everybody has like a profile. Everybody has a different experience they give to each other. You know what I'm saying? So imagine each person was like their own dimension. Do you are you aware of the dimension you offer to to people? I guess is what he's trying to ask. Yeah, because you're a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying I'm a lesbian? You said you like girl. You said you hate, you hate men. men. You like girls. No. That's what lesbians. Do. <laughs> no, I meant like I'm celibate. Damn. Fair enough. Fair enough. Shout out celibacy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how many how many girls come on this podcast Y'all saying they're the celibate? Monk, go, monk, go, monk. They're all respectable young women. <laughs> we have low body counts, okay? I'm dead. No, but that's crazy. How do you feel about how do you feel about men's body count versus women's body count? And that you know, there's like a there's a whole thing like oh men don't get bashed for it, but women do. How do you feel about that? Ashley, what's your body count? <laughs> I actually have a low ass body count. Stop the cow. Yeah. <laughs> that the music, the music. <laughs> what is a what is a low body count for a guy? Cable fell out. <laughs> I gotta ask it again. <laughs> I feel like we're bombarding her requests. We're just like asking her. Yeah, questions. like a so, fucking a missile system. <laughs> I feel like um, for men, like the limit doesn't <clears throat> exist, right? Right. The limit doesn't exist. Does not exist. Is that how you feel? Because <laughs> you're saying right. Like for us to agree with that, how do you feel? Do you think That's a believe. man with a lot of bodies would that matter to you? Like a dude with twenty versus a dude with four or five? Wait, wait. wait. I just feel like people are meant to be experienced and not meant to last forever. You know what I mean? Wait, so, like, Jill. You know? Can like, we? Can we? Take a bar. That didn't make sense. Like, what do you mean? That didn't make any sense. It made sense to him. I said, "What is a low body count for a man?" She said, "The limit doesn't exist." How does the that make any sense? Exist. Well, I get in her head. She's saying like, you a man could fuck as many girls they, as like, he wants the to, and there's what no like asking. consequences or repercussions. She thinks there is no, there's no number. It just doesn't exist. Like you could just do whatever you want. Not about, do whatever, but yeah, like how much? How about 10, 10 bodies? Is that a little bit for a nigga? I guess. All for real. Yeah. What about twenty? <laughs> that's a, that's a, like a I don't know, dude. I'm grown. Like, <laughs> nah, I'm not I feel you. I feel you're not sitting there like asking it. questions yeah, and shit. Yeah, I'm not But about listen, it. there's a difference between like having a, a sexual experience with somebody. In that case, it's not really like you know your number one question. But if you're in a relationship with someone, let's say for one or two months, <laughs> she spit that shit. She's like, "Yo, fuck <laughs> a relationship." <laughs> yeah. She said people are to be experienced, not to be people are to be experienced. <laughs> nah, I don't know. <laughs> I think are you straight. You need water. She needs CPR, <laughs> bro. She need no water. She, she has beer life. in her nose Stay right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Don't make me laugh. <laughs> 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 oh shit! <laughs> Is we're still good. You gotta check the camera. Is that paper? Yo, Nick, could you grab a paper towel from the next to the sink? <coughs> the bathrooms with the candle on. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like you don't notice how drunk you are until you just get kidding, up. Just kidding. Just <laughs> kidding. You hear what I said? Huh? You don't notice how drunk you are until you get up. I should until, oh, until you get I know I should have oh, waited. Okay, I know okay, I should have okay. waited until Ashley gets back. She'll be like, yo, <laughs> I was fucked up when I got Nah, it's funny though, because honestly, Wait, now I don't feel the same way, but when I was younger, I feel like depending on how many shots I took, I wouldn't know how drunk I actually was until I stood up. Now it only happens I have to be drinking a lot. But if I'm drinking beers, bro, I don't really pay it. It's like Black house casting. What is that? Is that like Black. a porn thing or something? Oh my god! 
<laughs> no, what is that? <laughs> like Black Raw. <laughs> She's like, Yo. who's that? Am I? Yo, Ashley, you be watching, watching porn? <clears throat> um, yeah. Well, no, I don't anymore. Hold on, you're not talking in the mic. You gotta talk in the mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't watch porn at my big age. Only when I'm like really, really <laughs> horny, you know, I'll watch porn. Well, will you look up? It's not like an everyday thing. You watch Black Raw? I'll watch that, yeah. I'll watch that. Hell yeah, you, you, I'll watch you, you, that. You watching Jason Love? <coughs> Jason Love. I've probably seen him a thousand times and have no idea who the fuck that Big's is. Big's favorite actor is a Dread. <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard of Dread before? <laughs> oh my God, oh, are you shit. serious? Nah. Are you lying? Nah, what's crazy is... He's like light skin, right? So With long ass Dread? It's nah, crazy that we're still like on bald. this topic. But I was watching at uh, I think Aiden Ross and Adam Twenty Two. He got Jason Love and Dread on the call, and Dread is like supposedly like I didn't know about him before this point, but oh, supposedly he's like the biggest dick in the game or some shit. So what Adam was saying right, is Jason like, Love? oh, Jason Love is like the starter, and then she, Lena got to work her way up to Dread. And I'm like, yo, that's a crazy <laughs> way to think about. Yo, it. Did you hear that they're like making a new reality show? Yeah, they're gonna make a reality, uh, finding the next guy. <laughs> You see like it on academic shit, right? Yeah. yeah. Like Isn't that like fair? every guy's dream, though? Like, don't you want, like, you know, a girl that sells pussy? So Your you wife can to fuck. sell her pussy? Yeah, you can fuck whoever you want with her. And, you know, you know what? She can fuck whoever she wants. Because you a can fair fuck point. whoever you want. You know? <laughs> That's like, a fair point. I ain't gonna lie. the goal? Like, yeah. Loki. <laughs> he said Loki. Look. Nah, but I kind of like. Eh. <laughs> what are you gonna say, Gia? <laughs> so it's too. It's. It's. <laughs> It's a weird thing, right? Because I feel like there's a, a level of equality where a girl's going to feel like, you know, she could <laughs> fuck whatever dude she wants, which is cool. It works in that relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. You both have your freedom. But where I guess where it gets a little tricky is like, <sighs> when you walk into a room with your lady, you want every dude in that room to be like, oh, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, look at her and all this shit. You don't want dudes to be in there like, oh, yeah, I hit that before. All this shit. So there's a level of... <laughs> There's a level of like value that comes with exclusivity. You know what's kind of weird? Huh. It's funny because I, I, I kind of like. Well, to men. And just, I think not a, to Adam 22. Not kinda, to Adam, yeah, exactly. Nah, yeah, but yeah. I kind of like. But being, that shouldn't be the standards. So. I kind of <laughs> I kind of like being Eskimo bros with people sometimes. Like. <laughs> like Eskimo <laughs> bros. Yeah, because I'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, like, we we didn't fuck the same bitch. So, like, <laughs> Especially when they're like celebrities. That's a flex, that reminds right? me of That's a, a flex. Super yeah. bad when he goes, Blood Brother. <laughs> and the girl's twerking and fucking rubbing on his leg with her period and shit. Like, bro, like, imagine nah, being crazy. Eskimo bros with Drake. You know, like, oh, I forgot yeah, that girl. I don't, Drake I don't even fuck. think that's like hard. That's like, it's probably easy to fuck a girl that Drake fuck. But you think Drake is fucking like 24 7, though? Nah. Like every day? I think Drake's probably pretty celibate, if I'm being honest. I don't think he... I mean, yeah, he probably got sexual desires, but knowing him, bro, he's very busy, busy schedule. He probably don't... It's kind of weird to be thinking about how often a man fucks, but just putting the, bro, putting the schedule baby on baby moms is an escort. Like. Yeah, yeah. Unless she was a porn star. And he does have some, you know, Both reputation of being in the strip club and fucking with all these different types of girls. Yeah, he definitely I, getting I that know. escort coochie. Mm-mm. Yo, isn't it crazy? I, I think once you get to a certain level, though, where it's like you could have any girl you want, it's like exactly. you could have so much pussy. It's like, do you even really want it? It's like you want certain things when you can't have it. I feel like when you have too much of it, you don't want it no more. No, I feel like men. Um, no, nah, that's called being gay, bro. <laughs> Nick's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm still fucking. Yeah, nah, I just feel yeah, like listen. niggas be settling for the bitch that they could afford. You know, it's crazy. What does that mean? Like, look at Future and Drake. Like, they're never gonna settle down because they could have whoever they want. You know what I mean? They could afford every yeah. bitch. Yeah, they saying. I they got fucking NBA young boy, Kodak, hey, multiple so you, you baby see him moms. Over there? They're never gonna settle milk. down, but you Slam know milk, these you bitches are me. set for life. <laughs> yeah, but, shout out young boy. But, but <laughs> they say that like when you're married, you can make a lot more money. Exactly, I think marriage is a business deal. Look well, yeah, at Offset and Cardi business, B yeah. off to cheat. Look I at think, Adam and, and Lena. I think Adam and Lena is the biggest. They business got married. And That's what Axe told him. He's like, bread. he's like, you guys got married, which I don't look at it like a marriage. I look at it like a business. And then fucking Adam started laughing. But I really do think they're. If it's you think a about it, deal. what trips me out though is they have a kid. So that's the only thing that's like that's you know. A little too much if you're just looking at it like business. But it would make sense. All right, you're in a relationship with someone. She's going to make a porn eventually anyway. Why wouldn't you marry her before to get even more clout from the situation? Because you know everybody's going to talk about it. So it's like, why not get married <laughs> Actually, first I have a question and then treat the marriage like a business? And now every time she goes to fuck somebody else, it's like, oh, that's a married woman. She could sell the cuck experience or whatever it is that they're trying to sell. Ashley, let me ask you. 
<laughs> if you're like fucking on your OnlyFans, right? Mm-hmm. And you have a kid, and their ki- and then their ki- the the kid is in school, and they're like, "Yo, I saw your mom fucking <laughs> on OnlyFans." How would you feel about that? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't care. I wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, cause, 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 the thing is, it's like since every like, girl has OnlyFans, does it really like? <laughs> you think every girl has an OnlyFans? A lot of girls have. <laughs> I mean, my Miami was just called the capital That's of only funny. the OnlyFans capital. It is right. It, li- it literally like it literally is right. It's funny though, cause I feel like I, I haven't met OnlyFans girls until I started doing the podcast. Everybody else. We met a we met an OnlyFans girl the other day, remember? Yeah, yeah. The first at, girl. Uh, at FIU. It was so funny because she did. I do not have thought that, bro. Bro, shout out, man. FIU is a beautiful place. You know, they got a lot of um, cool people. Yeah, shout out FIU. A lot of my <laughs> customers are from FIU. Hey. You feel me? Shout out FIU. Yo, do you meet a lot of OnlyFans girls doing what you're doing? Like girls that do OnlyFans. I mean, a lot of women, yeah, that do multiple. But OnlyFans yeah. girls. Girls that you for like collabs only and stuff. OnlyFans, yeah. Cause since you That's like fire. wax their pussies and shit, mm-hmm. they need that for OnlyFans, right? Right. So like, <laughs> yeah, do you ever get right, do right. you ever get like tips and tricks and stuff? On um, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what, what was your like most tips and tricks on what? What was your most like um like interesting client? Interesting client. That's a woman. <clears throat> you do guys too, right? <laughs> Bro, okay, so I stopped doing men because I used to work on 8th Street, right? <laughs> and I swear to God, like, these niggas else. thought I was a fucking escort. <laughs> like, I would have random men call me and they would be like, in call or out call. Hey, baby. In call or out call. You do massages too. Nah. And I used to be like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, I would ignore it at first because I didn't know what the fuck that meant. Yeah. And then, like, I was talking to one of my boys about it and then they could put me on and I was like, I was so sick, bro. And then there was this one fucking guy that um especially like my men customers like i would look them up to like make sure they're not like you know on the system and shit yeah. like whatever what's the system <laughs> like to make sure they're not fucking system, predators no fucking, don't, their, don't their forget you're on check. don't forget you're on a podcast too so you don't say nothing like crazy so i don't give a fuck she said, I'm back I'm check the fuck I no i just want you to be like yo nick yeah when i said this can you like take it out or take it down you know i don't want that yeah, yeah I was gonna drop some tea. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I just want you to be mindful of that. Damn. She's I really like, I was gonna air my shit, shit out nah. for real. Nah, okay. you can do it. Just don't ask me All to right, take so it look, out. If I'm you want to air shit out, out, right? You can say it, but try not to say the names of the people or try not to incriminate nah, yourself. Nah. Those are the two things. You know what I'm saying? Don't okay, incriminate yeah, yourself yeah. and don't, yeah. Okay. Other than that, you're straight, though. You feel me? Okay, 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 okay. We'll, we'll get back to that. But first, <laughs> okay. so there was this man, right? He would come. I was like, okay, I looked him up. He was on LinkedIn. He was like a business owner or whatever. I thought he was like a decent fucking man, right? <clears throat> like decent, decent businessman. So whatever. Yeah. Um, he would pull up like consistently. And then like I would notice that he would pull up when like the other lady that I would work with wasn't there. So I'd be like, okay, like I peeped that shit like one or two times. And then one day he was like being super like creepy about it. Like, he was like, oh, because he used to get, like, for women, I do vajayshal services, which is, like, a facial for your coochie, right? But he wanted it for his dick, right? But I didn't really do that. What, cause is, I, it, what I, is it called for guys? Because a vajayshal sounds like for the vagina. Right, exactly. But like, for guys, I would just be like, I would, I would just be like, oh, book it, and then I'll wax you and do, like, a vajayshal on you. <clears throat> you know So a mean? guy could get a vajayshal. That's right, the point. Okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. So he would... On the road again. <laughs> On the road again. So there's gonna be a little bit of footage without a uh, without yeah, sound, but ooh, that's mm. like thirty seconds. We good. That was crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta, you know, adapt and move forward. Is it still recording? You have run out of space. <laughs> he said, "We're clear, we're clear." Do you like the lighting, by the way? It's like the pink, yeah, like cool shit. Okay, okay, okay. 
But yeah, I was trying to figure out. I have like a bunch of filters, like colors. I was like, it would be a good one for the podcast. And I like that one probably. You know, it was recording, right? You know about yeah. like therapy. <laughs> nah, I know, that's cool. I'm just kidding. Right? You know about uh, therapy. Oh, yeah, yeah. You mean like using certain colors to change certain mindsets and mentalities and shit? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's cool. I want to go to school for psychology. Just like so I love people, man. I want to, I, I like talking to people and picking picking their brain and stuff. And I think if I could help people out with their problems <laughs> and shit, on some therapy shit for real. I would actually enjoy it. Even like, even, you know, kids or people that have been in the military and stuff, I wouldn't mind helping them figure their shit out. That's hard. Yeah. So back to this man, he was <laughs> like, I used to give him vajayshals, right? So one day uh-huh. I was, he was like, hey, can I come in again? And I was like, oh, you were just here. Like, what's wrong with your skin? And he was like, oh, nothing's wrong with my skin. I just really like how it makes me feel. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, in my head, I didn't write back. Because I, I was like, what the fuck? H- hold on. I don't mean to cut you off. But, like, I was thinking this yesterday, right? The customer is always right. Uh, <laughs> right. But it's like. So, I didn't write back. And I let him, like, speak. <laughs> and he was like, do you do massages as well? And then, like, I just fucking blocked him. No. I already knew where the fuck he was going with that shit. But what I and mean, he was like, I'll pay more. What I mean about customers always right is that like people think that term means like, oh, you gotta put up with people's shit. You don't gotta put up with anyone's shit. Exactly. But, it, but let's say that you created a spoon, right? And it's like for eating cereal, but then someone wants to dig a tunnel with it. And you can't tell them you can't dig a tunnel with that spoon. They can do whatever the fuck they want with the spoon. But doesn't you, mean they will. You just you just sold them the spoon to do whatever the fuck they want to do with it. It doesn't have to serve the purpose that you sold it for right that's and a fair point if you but request a certain service i can also but deny people that people often yeah exactly people often think that like customers always right which means you gotta do whatever the fuck they say like no you don't have to be disrespected by a customer if a customer's wrong they're wrong but once they buy the product that's when it's like go get the fuck out of my store and yeah. do whatever the fuck you want well, with it. there's I a think, difference between a product and a service i think women that do massages and shit like now I I would hate to say oh get used to that response but there's gonna be a lot of men that do hit you up I would say don't respond to that just keep doing what you do no guy should like, expect a, a massage person yeah. to just do like fucking extra shit you feel me but like, she right. doesn't even do massages though I she, don't she, she's like a barber well for, even yeah for, even for even vaginas. worse even fucking worse you shouldn't be contacted as someone who does exactly. like imagine yeah, yeah. imagine yeah. you dude. what imagine going you cut on, hair yeah, nah, that, yeah. imagine you cut hair and the dude's like yo you wanna you wanna give me a he's lining up he's lining <laughs> up your back and like ah oh, run that clipper one more time gang that shit feels crazy he's like nah bro you feels so good when you shave my ass <laughs> you there's do that a, for me, bro. There's a, a scene in Family Guy, and it's like a sheep. He's getting sheathed, <laughs> and every time they cut, he's like, oh <laughs> They cut like another layer of fucking of sh- of sheep Yo, wool. I fucking like, love Aww. Family Guy. Bro. Yo, Family Guy used to be the shit. Yo, I haven't watched it in a while. I'm glad, bro. I'm glad All you guys old seasons entered. I'm glad you guys entered the topic because remember the video I sent you, and he's like, oh, my penis enlargement ray is in the closet, and he goes and opens it, and he says, ha ha, you opened it because you need it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 I see that shit. Yeah, you open it because you need it. Oh, fuck. Nah, I seen I seen the video the other day. I was like, how to get uh how to get trained by a football team, and I was like, yo, who posts this type of shit? So I watched it, right? That was no my homo. Video. No, 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 not your video. No homo. I watched the share. I'm like, bro, who to watch this shit? And at the end of the video, I was like, why are you still watching? Are you trying to get trained by a football team? And I'm like, bro, why? I was just curious to see why the fuck y'all are posting a tutorial on how to get trained by a football team. Bro, I should have put that for for ours. Would you guys ever run a train on a bitch? Yeah. That's on my that's on my bucket list. You said that's on okay, my bucket period. list. Okay, period. So um, you would see another guy naked. You don't have to see them. You look at the bitch. Right. So my answer is I would Eiffel like Tower. Like you could look, but uh, you're not I'm watching. <laughs> you have a girlfriend or something? Like Ooh, no, I don't have I don't got a girlfriend. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I've been single for a little little minute. You so you me? wouldn't have like a threesome with two guys? Look, it's not the. <laughs> all right, so he's, like he he's already done it. <laughs> nah, I didn't okay. have a three. I didn't. You feel cool. me? Look, so the situation was, I was getting head, and my friend was getting some head. So the answer is yes. We were on. We were on separate. Oh, I was on the mattress. Oh, like he a was. Foursome, yeah, like you feel what I'm saying? So it's like we was in the same room, but I'm not over there. We had a covers and shit. I'm not. To answer the question, though, I don't. I don't think. I don't know. Like, would you fuck a bitch? If I get the pussy, getting, if I get the pussy yeah. first, yeah. But if oh. I'm getting the pussy second, nah. You wouldn't like drain a bitch while another nigga's like fucking her, like no. Like, like, 
Like get some like head at the same days? time. No, like two days. Oh, no nah, way. that's too close. Nah, <laughs> nah. I know humor. Look at me. Nah, I'm straight. But I mean, to each his own. You feel me? <laughs> nah, I was gonna say that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you say yo, nah. That's funny as fuck. No, nah, but actually, you already said that you would. You wouldn't do it though. What? You said I you never. Yeah, you said you never would get trained. She said I a said girl's fantasy girl is to get trained. Yeah. Okay, All right, what are we talking about? Trains? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> funny as fuck. No, I was trying to, <laughs> trying to roll this shit at the same time. Like, fucking unplugged. Have you guys seen that um, Thomas the Train meme? Where he's like, Thomas had never seen such <laughs> foolishness or some shit. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck it crazy. says, but that shit is fucking funny as fuck. I it's love me. They dropped the whole movie based on <laughs> Thomas the Train like a year ago. Was it a uh, bullet train? Oh, I got to watch that shit. Yeah, nah, it's funny because it's, it's not what? even like... Bullet train was based off Thomas. Yeah, the train. you wouldn't even How? think it, right? But literally, like the whole thing, he's like the main message that one of the main characters gives is like, "Oh, you got to be more like Thomas and not like the other trains." And I don't know, they use <laughs> they use Thomas the train as a reference the whole movie. It's like a big part of the movie, but you wouldn't think it. It's like, yo, this is a fucking uh, uh, a multi million dollar budget movie, and they're making this shit about Thomas the train. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> You gotta watch Clone Tyrone. That's a good film. Oh my god, I love you that seen it? Ah, yeah. yeah, that's just hard. I was telling it has a lot to do with even watch like high. programming of of the, you know black folk and you know minorities in general, bro. But like it, it's it's a good watch. I feel so, like if you're not watch. woke, you won't get it. Like Thanks. we were supposed to watch it. And look at Jamie Foxx after that whole shit happened. Yeah, he got up. sick. So the movie is very like yes, on some woke it's shit. It's very telling. Very telling, very right? Telling. Yeah, yeah. If and then know, the you know. week that the fucking shit comes out, you got this uh, white hole, Jennifer Eddie, Aniston. No, nah, uh, what's his foot? Jamie Foxx come out and he's looking sick, and he's like, "Oh, I didn't want to come out and you know war- like give you guys a." Uh, I don't want to worry you guys by how I look and how I'm going through shit, but I'm sick right now. And I, you know what I'm saying? I the just want to promote let that the movie and this and that. But I'm looking at that shit. I'm like, bro, they're, they're talking about a lot of shit. And out of nowhere, Jamie Foxx is sick. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that about? He's trying you to tell me? us something. Yeah, he's trying to tell us some shit, mm. whether it be about cloning or whether it be about the effects of programming on the you black know? community and shit. Because they, they even have a scene where they're playing music, right? And they have a song about killing each other and the two black people are fighting. And then they put uh, mm-hmm. some song about hugs and shit. Mm-hmm. And then the two black hugging. people hug. And then they get pissed off and they mind go to the bathroom. Control, and they're like, yo, look control. at this mind control shit. Yeah, they start figuring mm-hmm. it out. But it's like talking about. Like when they went about, to the club and shit. Yeah, when they're at the club. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they go to the back room and shit. That so the whole movie is, is talking about programming and shit. And Jamie Foxx comes out sick out of nowhere. And it's like, are you guys trying to censor something? What's going on here? You feel me? But I definitely don't think it's like, it's coincidental. I think they're really trying to fuck with bruh. And I'm glad he came out and said something and told the world he was sick because that's just, a weird occurrence. Just because of Django, Jamie Foxx is my favorite actor. Yeah, Jamie Foxx yes. is a fucking legend. Listen, in iconic, all his impressions. Iconic, iconic. Jamie Foxx show. Iconic. Yeah, that's like a sitcom thing too. As soon as I said Jamie Foxx show, he puts that shit. That's funny. <laughs> I'm at, I forget. It, it restarts the sounds again. <laughs> oh, the... When you turn it off. Mm-hmm. So is it true that all men cheat? No, I like how you ask the questions. You're like you're like a natural host. Yeah, oh, she, I really she think fire, you. She <laughs> nah, but uh, no, I'm man. I can only speak from experience, but I'm a loyal ass dude. Like, if I'm with one person, I'm with one person. If I'm with one person, it's because I don't want to be with extra. Oh, he people. said he loyal. Yeah. Nah, facts though. <laughs> like, like for example, like right now I'm single. It's not because I want to be a hoe or nothing, but it's like whatever. I'm just living my life and doing my shit. He's racking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Just living my Freedom. life. But when the time comes, I'm not saying I'm not uh, opposed to the idea of being with one woman and that one woman being with me. You feel me? I like, I like, I want to have a family one day. And all now, the shit, thing so. is, sometimes you have that one girl, but then she gets demoted into the main chick. <laughs> demoted is crazy. <laughs> and then she's just, she's just the main chick. 
And then once she's the main chick, that's when it's open to cheating. You had to demote people before, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, all right, this is my side bit. Because I feel like once you have the, the when, when she's your only girl, that's when you can't, like, you can't, you physically can't cheat on her. But if she's your main chick, that's, it's not technically cheating because she's just the main chick. Well, I think there's only so much, What's the difference? so much, like, sex and shit you could have before you're like, all right, I want to, like, fuck someone else. No, I just That's I'm okay good. with this one person because me and this person have such a good chemistry that it's like I don't I'm not curious anymore about the outside world. Yeah, exactly. I exactly. think that's the thing. You need to have someone good enough that it kills your curiosity. Nah, if you're still curious. Be like you're not that. gonna want to be exactly. sexually Bruh. exclusive to that person. I'd be like that every week. I'm like, oh, she's the only one I want every fucking week, bro. <laughs> so it's like, it, it's like I'm like you, that. No, but you, you get over it, right? I don't. Unless like they, they you know they they lack it in the field, but like no, not really. I like it here. <laughs> <laughs> but interesting. Okay, so men do be cheating. I knew it. Cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> why you been cheating on? Nah, but have you? Yeah. Ever, yeah have you ever cheated? How on? do you? Why do you? Yeah, I've been cheated on. I've cheated how you on. How do you find? You out? think all men cheat? It really depends on the type of person. Do you think all men cheat? That you're with. How do you find out? Yeah, though? I do. I do. <laughs> she said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." If I had to put a yeah, yes or no on it, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> were, were you like, were you going through? Yes, yes. <laughs> I know so many niggas that are like happily married and have kids that will still cheat. Oh my god, say the y'all. same about a lot of women. Wait, how do you feel no. about? How do you <laughs> nah, feel it about? It goes both ways. It goes both ways. Exactly. How do you feel about a a, a dude and he'd be like talking to girls and shit, and then like you're you're nigga, he'd be like just talking to girls, like he just be around girls a lot, and then. You'd be like, I'm not jealous, but secretly you are jealous. Okay, so it's one thing if the man is loyal to you and gives you that fucking reassurance, you know? But it's another thing when... when okay, it's, it's two things, okay, right? So it's one thing, because I feel like if a guy really, really loves you, he'll never let you find out that he's cheating on you. Oh. <laughs> That's how I feel you At my big age so crazy That's kind of how I lost Like my biggest relationship Was Telling my ex <laughs> Telling my ex like You know what I'm saying I, I didn't even fuck nobody else I was just telling her like I, Yeah like I had You know some experience With other people and shit You know other females And she I thought it would like She rocked your world I thought it would like Push her to want me more And it actually pushed her away you know what I'm saying? I don't think. Yeah, I don't know. that's it's the so thing. So like, did you do anything to like prove to her that you wanted to be with I her? I did. Yeah, I, I, I did. I Maybe, made up. Yeah. I made up some. You de- definitely fucked up the trust then. Yeah, no, I did. Her. I did. But it was a, a long list. I'm not gonna expose her on here, obviously, right, and put right. put our business out. But I had a my trust was broke. The trust was broken on my on her end first. You know what I'm saying? And then I started doing things that would like add to the fire. But you know. It is what it is, man. You are growing yeah, up you and shit. And that learn. first, that first real relationship, you gonna live fuck up. Learn. You gonna make mistakes, so you can't dwell on it. You can only like apply what you learn to the next relationship and make it that much better. In my opinion. I don't want to talk about no fucking relationship. <laughs> 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 fuck this shit. <laughs> so, oh, to roll, hold up. what what are some examples of controlling behavior? Like, have you have you? <laughs> yeah, but that's the only cool topic I ever. Was my have you ever been like controlled by a nigga? Like, do you like that? No, no. You don't like when a nigga tells Please you what to do. Don't do that shit. No. Well, <laughs> how you know I'm gonna do that? Huh? How you know I'm gonna do that? I'm not saying you're gonna do that you to me. Nah, I'm you, just saying, like in say general, it. I'll never let a man do that shit to me. Like, no, but like, let me see your phone. Where are you at? Who you with? What are you doing? So that, that, Where you gonna go? Why Kirk are you wearing Kirk that? No, bitch. Fuck you, nigga. That Kirk 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 so, so go you find a bitch. Like me that put I ain't up with that shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But wait, 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 wait. So if a nigga is like that, right? That don't mean that he love you. No, cause that nigga's <laughs> probably cheating. That's why he asking all those damn questions. For real. Yeah. What if you're the controlling person? What does that look like? I don't think I'm a controlling person. I just feel like if you have respect for somebody, that's just what it is. You're going to show that you respect somebody. You know what I mean? You're not going to try to control them. You're just going to let them be because you love them and you respect them. I don't know. But what is controlling to you? Like, what is a bitch being too controlling to so you? So, look, I, I, heard, I heard that when a guy acts loves a woman, he acts like a kid. And when a woman loves a man, he acts like she acts like her. His mom 
Oh hell no! I'll never be a nigga's mom. You got me <laughs> fucked up. You wouldn't tell a nigga like, yo, you gotta, hell no! Nah. I ain't raising you no grown ass money. nigga. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta what? You gotta well, get more money? <laughs> 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 what? Nah, you wanna tell a nigga what to do? Would I tell a nigga what to do? Yeah, like oh, you gotta dress like this. What about no? Fuck what about that shit. nurturing? Do you see yourself as a nurturing woman? To the right person, yeah. Would you consider that like a motherly thing? I wouldn't say being nurturing <laughs> is being a mother, but I think being nurturing is a big part of like that. that I, I guess that, that mother quality. Yeah yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Yeah, if I care about you, you you're gonna know that shit. Okay, no, that's good then. At least you feel me. I get though. You, you don't want to be like telling a dude what the fuck to do and how to live it. You know, like yeah, he's supposed to be the leader and shit. Exactly, yeah, I get it, exactly. I get it. Very much that. Damn, I feel like I got high off your shit, bro. So fucking high right now. I'm gonna blow it over there, dog. Fuck. No. <laughs> he said no. Because I'm like, fuck, this is real. Like, this is real. Have life. you heard that new Drake song where he's like, oh, all you girls wanna be micromanaged? You guys wanna <laughs> yeah, be told the beginning, what to do? He said, I got a schedule. Yeah, I don't got time for Hey, bro. shout out to Drake, he's man, because he's speaking some motherfucking facts on that. Bro. Hey, look, he also dissed Yo, X in the same song. Did you see that? He what? XXX Tentacion. Oh, yeah. I saw, you, I saw you put that on your story. Yeah. He Yo, dissed me. He said, uh, put 50 racks on a. What do you say? He, yeah, put fifty racks on his head, um, for trying to. Damn, I'm gonna find it right quick. Then he said, yeah. "My dog will do it for Louis Bell." That <laughs> yeah. is all he, he know, did say know, that. Know, look, know, look, yeah. but this is the say, This is what he said today, right? So he drops a song, "Slime You Out with SZA." The shit's going crazy right now, and I'm listening to it because I'm like, "Yo, this motherfucker's a banger." And I don't know where the last like verse he says, "Uh, get a nigga hit for fifty racks, girl. The beef costs like it's wagyu. Get a nigga hit, I'll make his ass see the light like a half moon." That's 50 racks right 50 racks is what he died with like yeah, that moonlight and moon, yeah moonlight, and, and moonlight. yeah get him hit i'll make his ass see the light like a half moon moonlight you feel me you put two and two together it's like bro it's too much and then all the lines that added up to it there's a there's a whole he has so many records where he's talking about shit yes. that would relate to it it's like i heard that shit today i'm like nah bro Why this x again that? I don't know. He's wild, bro but i do think he got x killed Dang, bro, I'm so cold, i do bro. i do believe he got mob ties I do, yeah, I do too. I think when you have a certain amount of money and a certain amount of but connections would, and shit, but why like, would he want to kill X? Like, why? Because he was. That's the he first stole person. His flow. He didn't need his clout. Yeah, he, Drake, needed Kodak. Jake stole Migos flow. Nah, but look, if you look at the situation, right when they started beefing, yeah, isn't it crazy? This is the imagine. What if we did this in like eighteen twenty two and it's yeah. like, oh Beethoven, he stole, <laughs> Beethoven, he stole the song. <laughs> yeah, that's funny as fuck. <laughs> It's like this is where we live right now. Imagine the future. Oh, whoa! Imagine the yeah, future. Nah, it's true, like, true. Yo, Cybertron eighty eight. <laughs> well, crazy because they couldn't even have podcasts back then. I would imagine what podcasts would sound like. But I'm sure there's transcripts in, in the, uh, the uh, theater. <laughs> in the, in the, in the amphitheater. <laughs> Could you believe he's deaf and he makes such great music? That's what William Shakespeare was. He was the first podcaster. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the OG Joe Rogan. <laughs> Were you gonna say Ashley? I forgot what we were talking about. She's like in her own world. Oh. <laughs> would you ever start your own podcast, Ashley? I don't know what I would talk about. Ashley all night. <laughs> that's a dope ass name. Well, that's the good thing about Ashley podcasting, right? So you're saying like, I don't know what I'll talk about, but what you would talk about is what other people would talk about. So, so you don't much. ever have to think about like, oh, like, what do I like? You could think about what you like and <laughs> She'd shit. She'd be like, what's up, bitch? It's Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you do so good on that. Really? Yeah, yeah, you ever nah, you do it. You look like a streamer. I think you should get on some shit. It's her, it's a headphones, right? Shit. Well, the what? energy, the energy you give off, you're yeah. like, you're loud, but not in the not in the volume <laughs> way. You're loud, like in a personality lit. way. She's lit. You feel me? Yeah, you're loud in a good way. She's lit. I think you should use that to your advantage for sure. That's so nice. Of She's living off of one beer. <laughs> I'm barely. Oh, the Marco, Marco. <clears throat> barely. Barely. So what are the, what are the topics? What are the topics you have? Um. So, damn. I had him on my phone. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I know this unprofessional. I should remember him, but I'm gonna <laughs> I was hit y'all. Ashley has something because she's been like with some shit. Them. Do you have topic? Do you have a topic? Anything you want to talk about besides X and Drake right now? <laughs> I don't know. We gotta get into some. All right, all right. Is it better when we choose to fit in or stand out? Stand out. What benefits do you have you had in your life by standing out? I feel versus like, like trying to fit in. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's always trying to fit in, trying to like get the new shoes or get whatever's popping at the time. What What do you feel like helped you out 
wanting to do that more understanding that standing out is like a, a benefit not something that takes away um <clears throat> i don't know i just feel like i feel like that's what's happening now right like especially with like all the shit you see on ig like everything is so boring because everybody's the same yeah so, i was literally telling this i didn't mean to cut you off ashley yeah. But I went to Target yesterday, right? And I tell this nigga, like, bro, like every girl, like I was in Winwood at Target. It's like every girl there look literally the same. It's like, bro, I'm in a store with a bunch of NPCs. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Shout out, oh, NPC. Oh, God, bro. Every girl there was like, they, their, hey. their faces look the same. They dress the same. And it's like, like, <laughs> nah, I like it. I, cause, you know, I. <laughs> you never heard that NPC song? Which like one? Pinky Doll? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh my god, you gotta play that shit! Oh my god, you don't know who Pinky Doll is? <laughs> is that the one that made uh, like a? Yeah, 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 she I be talking crazy, it. right? You're talking about sucking. Yo, oh, that's the that's the TikTok. Oh, okay, okay, I didn't know who that was at first. Yeah, now I know you talking about ice cream. So good. Yo, <laughs> Ashley, like, what kind of man? <laughs> Ashley, what kind of man do you look for? I don't look for man. <laughs> nah, you chase the bag instead. Yeah, you know you, this. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, this. Yeah. Cause you're so like turned up, so it's like. Do you need a man who's like more turned? Because I I know you're like ex and shit. So it's like he's Which not one? not. <laughs> what when I think of that? When I th- I think I'm high. <laughs> but when I think of that, I'm thinking like damn, you're so like turned up. So it's like what kind of like man? Like you need a man to like bring you down. <laughs> Fuck you up. <laughs> a man to bring you down. <laughs> Yo, straight up, my last ex like that nigga wanted to like destroy me so bad. Like he would tell me the meanest shit. And I knew it was like whatever he got going on internally because it wasn't nothing to do with me. But yeah. you like it? <laughs> no, but it's just like, how can like you like, what the fuck? Like, who the fuck would want that? Who the fuck wants that shit in a relationship? Like, who the fuck wants somebody like that? Wait, like, can, can you imagine yourself with someone who's more turnt than you? Yeah, please. Come find me, bitch. <laughs> but what if you get into like a turnt contest where it's like, who can a turn? A turnt contest is crazy. <laughs> I don't believe in competition. <laughs> Do you? A turnt contest. <laughs> it's not because I feel like I feel like since I'm like I feel like I'm like a turtle, right? I feel like I'm real slow, That's like a turtle. Bad. And it's like girls like with en- girls with energy like you, like a volcano. It's like what kind of like volcano yeah that's how i see your energy like <laughs> i definitely see myself as like <laughs> the tasmanian active volcano? devil how yeah. do you how do you tasmanian you, devil's lit what are you yes, saying Jim? i, I said do him. you see her as an active volcano or like a yeah. oh <laughs> like a he's like, yeah she's going right now <laughs> <laughs> how do you see her nah um <laughs> what do you think of her <laughs> so what do you think of her nah I, drag me <laughs> i think i think you got high energy but you contain it so i look even more like a a controlled volcano not so much one that's already erupted. like a waterfall i feel like if you were to controlled. if you were to nice. if you were to erupt you would go, you'd be on some shit but you control wow. it you feel me like she's, ba- she's balanced yeah erupts. i feel like you could go you could be crazy you could be psycho but you control it <laughs> damn, <bro. laughs> she's like damn <laughs> you're gonna go yeah no you are in the chat right now bro. <laughs> no but you know what? we all crazy man you gotta embrace the crazy sometimes we all nah, crazy wow. some of us you know <laughs> I feel like a lot of people see that in me and they be wanting a reaction so bad and it's like, bro, like, you're not going to get one. <laughs> you feel like you, you know You don't it. have to pay me to give a fuck, bitch. Oh, you're saying like, like to react mad or angry, like yeah, to feel a type of way. I like feel you. I feel like, you. Yo, but you that's good. You you don't like, use your high energy to like feed into the negative shit. You exactly. only use it to keep. That's I'm going to just that's go great. somewhere else. Because some people, some people be high energy, but they use that shit to be like violent and shit like that. It's like, yeah, you can't do that. that. Yeah. yeah, fuck that. I, I, believe in violence i will choose violence believe me <laughs> but you know what like at the end of the day like, violence is crazy. Beat a bitch's ass. hey look i've been on the same time and today like, i ain't gonna lie to you like, like, i, I want to be happy and make money and smoke my weed facts <laughs> <laughs> smoking weed is key <laughs> no, I, I was trying to go for like two hours but i mean it's been for an hour and it's been it doesn't what, feel like that long. 140, four hours. Yeah, one forty four. <laughs> Not four hours. One hours later. <laughs> we got like fifteen minutes for it to be two hours. But yeah, now we did we did pretty good. <laughs> Bro, you were like twenty things. Yeah, I said. I did. Y'all want me to ask some deep shit? We get a little deep before Where we Where would get be off. okay, do you guys believe in time travel or yeah. parallel universes? Oh, we yes, got like another yes. hour left. <laughs> <laughs> we got another hour left. <laughs> All right, so well they're two different well, what, what, what discussions. Is, what is she wanting? What about the Mandela effect? 
Mandela effect. It has like nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> what is the Mandela effect? Oh, who's that? What is the Mandela effect? Should I? Should we take a guest call? I guess. Just, I guess. Just don't ask him how he's doing. <laughs> yeah. What's good, bro? I'm on the podcast, right? You want to say, you want to say what's up to the people, right, quick, bro? Yeah, yeah. Say what's up to the people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, yeah. He said I'm surprised you answered your phone. I, I know, right? This I think I never answered his phone. <laughs> Nah, bro, I got the fucked up, the worst schedule ever because my job is shit, you feel me? But we going podcast full time soon, you feel me? I've been trying to build your schedule. I've been trying to build your schedule. That switches. Nah. But hey, look, I'm going to hit you in a little bit, bro. You want to tell the people something before you get out? I'm going I'm to hit you in like 20 minutes, bro. I'm going to be off here. Uh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm like 45 Say no more. Say no more. But yeah, man, y'all, y'all tune in for my boy K Flex. You feel me? You're going to look crazy, man. Big Flex. I changed that shit. Big Flex. Big Flex. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Tell them boys. Friday, September 20, what is it? September 22nd. So, like, have you ever fucked a and bitch? And it's my dog, Brittany. Like, but yeah, I'm going to tap in with you soon, but I'm going to up in a little bit. Her coochie was say loose. No more, say no more, bro, love. Like, how do you know when a bitch coochie is loose? Or, like, have you ever fucked a girl so much that, like, you made it loose? You know? <laughs> nah, you know it's loose when it, when it keeps falling out. <laughs> when it keeps falling out, it's crazy. Yeah. Or your dick just not long enough. Boy, <laughs> he said, "Boy, no, nah, fuck with you, nah." But um, nah, some girls like I the think condom falls break. out. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna say no what names. Falls out? Like it's I'm, like, I'm like not it, gonna like disrespect nobody. Out. But the first girl, I bro, you just disrespect. Did you just like two thousand disrespect? Nah, there's man. There's a <laughs> listen. The first girl I ever fucked with, it took me like an hour to come. Or she was going crazy and shit. But she was like, "Oh, like, are you gonna? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm trying, but she was, she was, she had a." A high Yo, sexual, you gotta say it in the mic. High sexual oh. history, you feel me? Her shit was not. Yo, actually, her shit was not tight. How long do you like it? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Till sunrise. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. I think about it now. It's like that could mean so many things. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's funny. Oh, lighter flick. I asked you a question. <laughs> I answered it. No, you didn't. <laughs> Your reaction? Said, no, I don't know. Ooh. It depends on in the moment. <laughs> like you know, it's always spontaneous. All right, so how long is too long? I don't know. Like, you know what? If I was on drugs, <laughs> so let's add to the equation. Okay, we <laughs> really depends on what type of night. What I'm type having. of drugs? What type of drugs? <laughs> <laughs> Mushroom. Yo, have you ever given a nigga a time limit? Like you yo, a time limit is crazy. <laughs> I gotta go to work at six. You better hurry up. <laughs> Get a nap by twelve thirty. <laughs> by twelve thirty. I guess that's what a quickie is, right? Is a time right. limit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Quickies are fire, though. Nah, if you do them right, for sure. What's the longest you guys fuck? Like two hours. That's my the room stank. Longest I've ever fucked <laughs> before, or like longest I usually, or uh, yeah. Fuck that's my problem. My problem is I last too long. Like, like <laughs> that's our problem. <laughs> no, I think after For a while real. it becomes like almost. So you have tedious. a high sex drive. I feel like yeah. <laughs> oh, he go for rounds. He said rounds. Wait, do you not, or you just not? <laughs> no, nah, sometimes I don't. Like mm, at all. Like it'll take you hours. Nah, I'll go hours, but my. What does that I'll, happen? I'll, you don't do I'll, drugs. I'll, I'll, I'll come a, a few times, like throughout the course of a few. I can't just that can't just be one night, bro. So why you wild in the <laughs> Yeah, I know, bro. I was so, I was so uh, like, look. I was so like perplexed on the amount of times that y'all was like doing that shit, bro. Because uh, I was like, again. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I remember one time. I, nah, had this nah. Ex. I did nothing nah. with, with nobody. <laughs> nah, nah. You feel me? Nah, I be saying that. Shit. What were you saying, funny. Ashley? I remember this guy I dated one time. Like every time he would not. Be like, oh, it's good again, you know. <laughs> and he'll be like, give me seventeen minutes. Wait, so let me ask you: Is it considered <laughs> seventeen minutes exactly? Is crazy. That's funny as fuck. Is it? Is it? Minutes. Is it considered erectile dysfunction <laughs> if it's yeah. like going rounds? Like if he nutted already, right? Is it erectile dysfunction if he can't get it up again after he just did it? No, nah, I think erectile. Oh, I don't know. You answer that. You're a few. <laughs> yeah, why are you answering? I think so because it just got up like ten minutes ago. I can't get up. 
Okay, because it's like he doesn't. But what did this function mean? Like you can't get it up at all. Exactly. <laughs> no, because 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 girls like because girls will tell stories about like oh yeah he couldn't get it up, but it's like they already fucked like three oh, times, you know. They nutted too many times. Though. <laughs> yeah, so it's like he nutted three times, and they're like oh he couldn't get it up. <laughs> like that's the fourth time. Like what do you expect? <laughs> I think I think as a dude you got to know like the methods already. Like when your body get there, you gotta be like my grandma, my grandma. <laughs> Start saying shit that you would never come to because that's you need always, to keep like you feel me. You got to keep going, bro. That's like, why I always put a movie on because then it's like I watch a movie <laughs> while I'm fucking and I'm like, okay. I remember one time I was watching Friday while fucking. I kept laughing. This girl's like, "Oh, are you laughing at me?" And I'm like, "No, I promise." Nah, I'm laughing at the bro, movie. I was doing she that felt so like subconscious. I'm like, the All right, same, let me, let me the lock same in. Same thing happened. I was eating this girl's pussy and then like <laughs> she that happened. <laughs> you laugh. He's like, we're watching girl code and and they're like, that's funny as having sex. Friday. What's wrong with my pussy? <laughs> they're like, they're like having sex with a condom on is like taking a shower with jeans on. <laughs> yeah, with clothes on. And I started laughing and it's just like, oh, why are you doing that? Maybe she's not wet enough. <laughs> What's up here? Ashley, why are you bashing all the girls? <laughs> you guys like condoms? <laughs> Not hard. Not hard. <laughs> I actually do like condoms. Safe sex. Safe sex is Safe great. Safe sex better wear late sex before you get that. Listen, late. I think I'm late. Before you get that, yeah, I think I'm late. Man, shout out to Wayne. Man. Why you like condoms? Not always, yeah, baby. I've never used a condom in my life. No, I'm lying. <laughs> I remember one time I was fucking this <laughs> guy. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> oh shit. Man, condoms suck, bro. Like, Wait, wasn't she telling a story? Yeah, she stopped. She had the Donna Marco. I don't want to like, tell it She's anymore. like, and he wanted to wear a condom. And I was like, ew, then you get yeah, the fuck out. <laughs> For real? Basically. Damn. That's crazy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just, I'm just kidding. No, I was gonna You'll say. I, I was gonna say. I was. I can never hit them because I always wear condoms. Like I, I never. Like I. I can never fuck. Not that I can never fuck because I fuck without condom, but I don't like. <laughs> yeah, like I always. I always use a condom. <laughs> that was an awkward silence, bro. Nah, bro, because you know nah, what bro. it is. It's like it's like it's like that day after, and you're and you, you look at your dick, and it's like no, nah, <laughs> it got spots on it. You're like, yo, nah, I gotta go to the I doctor. Just, I never said that. Nah. I never said that. <laughs> I never so finished. I nah, never said Chico. that, bro. But it's like, like it's like when that shit happens. <laughs> I, I, I just want to put this out there. I do not have a. I get tested. <laughs> I don't have no STD. That but it's like, some, but I've been in experiences where it's like. And like fuck bitches And then it's like my Shit be happening with my dick I'm like fuck <laughs> I kind of regret oh, it Are you, you talking know? about Ingrown hairs No <laughs> <laughs> He said no I'm talking Like one time I, I fucked this girl right And then it's like I don't know what happened To my dick And that shit hurt And then I had this Other girl come over What do you mean it hurt I had this other girl Come over playing, Usher uh, let I, it burn <laughs> <laughs> I had this other girl Come over after And it's like I didn't even make a move Or nothing Because my, my dick was hurting too much. Was it raw? No, I use a condom. Did it sting? Like, what do you mean? You use a condom hurt? and you still had like a reaction? Yeah. Maybe it was the condom yeah, that gave you a reaction. Yeah, it was definitely a condom. Pa- yeah, but it makes me think that like. Latex? It makes me think like, oh, imagine if this was an STD, you know, like that could oh, suck. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's like, even if even with a condom that shit's sucking, it's like, you know. Uh, to me, bro, I don't even give a fuck about sex, to be honest. Because it's like, for me, sex is more for the girl. And it is for myself. I don't give a fuck. Oh, so you like pleasuring the woman? Man. Yeah. But that's fair. That shit turns you on. Yeah. Because so I, I, I do it for you, queen. I can do it. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Because nah, if I want a nut, man, I, I'll just, is fire, if though. I want a nut, I'll just masturbate. Like, I don't never, I never fuck a bitch just so, oh, I want to get a nut, you know? I mean, sometimes, but. He said sometimes. <laughs> nah, this is an even exchange, baby. We what? Uh, we go nut for nut over here. Nah, it's a crazy line. <laughs> <laughs> not never <laughs> no nah, but yeah i feel like sex should be an even exchange i think when you give yeah you should have like a you know if you make your lady or if she makes you come two or three times three what? four times you should be able to make her come two Actually, three four what's times. your goal for sex like is your goal tonight or is it for is it for the nigga like you want to pleasure the nigga <laughs> mm, i want to pleasure the nigga but also i want to get my pleasure but I niggas how, how don't long, know how to do that. So. How long that usually take? What? Your pleasure. I don't know. It's fast. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny as fuck. Damn, so for me going for one, like, hours, that don't mean, that don't even mean nothing if you, like, get yours fast. That's, like, way too long unless I'm really into it, you know? <laughs> you know, unless I really like you, you know? 
Like, don't you guys think there's a difference between like sex? Yeah, but you and know, fucking. But like, look, but look. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like making love and and fucking. Yeah. It's a big difference. I don't know. I always feel like a girl you takes that. Being intimate with somebody yeah. for real, like that shit is different. The I, way they're, I they're always like just fucking to get a nut real quick. I always feel like girls take at least like thirty minutes to nut. Yeah, we didn't think about it like kissing, foreplay, and like. No, of like penetration, like oh, pounding. Wow. Pound town. <laughs> do y'all have sex Pound town. strictly for like the pleasure, yeah. or is it more to it? Do you feel like you know, like special in that moment? Or I do it to trap the girl. Added, I do it so that she, 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 she feels emotions for me. <laughs> <laughs> she will never forget. She trap that hoe. <laughs> Soul ties. Fuck. I do it to express dominance. Death row. I don't know because I feel like fuck you. when I have sex, it's like yeah, it's for the pleasure, but at the same time, I want to have like a connection with that 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 female. You feel me? Like I don't know. I think it's more to it. I can't just have. I can't just like. If it's just strictly physical, it wouldn't be that enjoyable to me. Yeah, I went to Popeyes I today, to that. and I realized that every Popeyes has a bitch that looks like se- sexy red as the manager. Ski. <laughs> That's good. Yo, you need the ski yeah, button. Nah. Yo, we're going to change up the button. I'm a, bro, what? Are the buttons built into the... Not built in, no, but do you load them on or I you got to load them through, through your program? So I could probably do the same shit with like FO, huh? Yep. But say no more. What were you going to say, Ashley? Ski. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, now we're like two hours in. We got a little ski. bit of... Uh, you guys want to plug your shit in? <laughs> shop. I do want to say a special mes- a special message before we get out of here. I think I'm going to start doing this at the end of every podcast. Just give people a little, a little gem, you know. But you matter. Everybody's here for a reason. Um, you know, you all got a purpose. You all got something you got going on. And um, if you're still here, if you wake up today and you're watching this, you got something to live for. You're here for a reason. Take yourself serious. Do something with yourself. Pray. Meditate. You know what I'm saying? Elevate. Thank you for tuning in. You want to plug anything in? You can. Y'all can find me at Color Beats and the Kid Gianni on Twitch. <laughs> She's like, I don't, She's like, I don't know what the fuck to say. <laughs> what do I plug? She's like, bitches, follow me. I'm going to have, <laughs> I'm gonna have your, your, your IG in the description. Yeah, I drop my OF. Yeah, I drop Go it. ahead. Or Is there like wax license? Yo, yeah, why don't you I make don't your... Know. Why don't you make I your OF? Like, you, <laughs> why, do, why don't you just make... Instead of you being like naked on there, why don't you just like put you like waxing mm, pussies? No. Putting other pussies like, That's yo, illegal. she'll get sued quick. Is yeah. yeah. No, nah, I asked them. Like, yo, I'll give no. you like a cut. <laughs> I'll give you a cut is crazy. <laughs> That's illegal for real? No. Yeah. I don't think that's like such a violation of their privacy. Yeah, Yeah. like that makes that so uncomfortable. Like to ask, I would not do that that to my customer. Yeah, because then then they would associate that place with like, oh, if you go there, they're gonna ask you that. Yeah, you kind of don't want that attached to your thing. Yeah, yeah. honestly. (laughs) Yeah, but you'll be making so much money when you're fucked. (laughs) Say you won't give a fuck (laughs) because it's like every one yes is worth something. (laughs) It's like nah. Well, shit. (laughs) It's like talking about a bag or shit. It's like fuck the. It's like fuck. It's like at that point, that fuck the. I, I might have changed my mind. Fuck you know? the waxing. I just want the only. You never, know, bro. Niggas be buying dumb ass shit on OnlyFans. Like if I could take off on my OF, I would. Like the fuck, that'd be nice to work from. Like. Yo, let me manage you. I mean, let you me can. manage your OF. I'll Listen, do that shit yeah, good as fuck. Well. Look, need real talk. Her. Men know like, what men want to see. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah. like. A mad manager wouldn't be. A, wouldn't be. I was gonna a say, I even talk to the dude. I even talk to him now. Like, <laughs> hey, that's what. Hey, that's what your boy did, man. Don't sleep. Hey, hey. He <laughs> was in some Monko, other shit, bro. <laughs> nah, but yeah, man. You want to plug your stuff, Nick Torres? Yeah, hey, I wrote uh, it down. Not Nick Torres. Nick, no, my dog just. My dog free. Uh, then my homegirl, she said, "I know today I didn't make it." I'm like, why am I reading? This? He's so reading drunk, it out loud and shit. It's like, I this be, is personal. Because I be forgetting I'm on a podcast sometimes. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. All right, so shout out my main channel, Nictoria. I mean, yeah, my main channel, Nictoria. <laughs> I be giving inspirational videos on fitness, girls, dating advice. How to come out the closet. <laughs> no, <but> uh, <laughs> all those things. Pause. Um, <laughs> shout out, things. shout out. To, <laughs> fuck, bro, I'm so drunk, bro. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Down the Marco, Marco, stupid.
<laughs> yeah, I think I wrote it in my other phone that's recording it. That's why. <laughs> oh, never mind. All right, shout! Out, I just made a six feet clips channel, so all the clips on all this. This is fun time. Thank that you boy crazy. got two phones. Listen, you know what's crazy? Actually, we should take a second to like appreciate what's going on right here. Our podcast with everything and the six feet. Interview. We've done like two hundred thousand views in the last two months. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah. So that's hey, even. Congrats. Yeah, so you know that's we're going up. Last time I checked, I got almost sixty thousand views in the last seven days. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Steven Joe hey, did a, like about a hundred thousand. You feel me? Everything oh, we've yeah. doing has been going up, bro. So. Yeah. Yeah, so follow my Nictorious channel, um, <laughs> Nictorious Instagram, Six Feet Interviews, SoundCloud, Six Feet Interviews, so we can get more plays if you want to have your song reposted so more people listen to it. DM me on Instagram, at Six Feet Interviews. Check out my music. I'm making a Nictorious music channel. I'm going to have all my music on there um, and my beats, Nictorious Beats. And um, my Instacart is N-M-C-D-O-E-G-A-L-L-2-1-1-1. Seven. <laughs> so if you want to join Instacart, use my code, promo code. Yo, drop your social real quick. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> <a little bit. laughs> All right, you guys. Peace. Dom DeMarco. Six feet. <laughs> <laughs> Dom DeMarco.